Sunday fun day in full effect. Early crew was 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 strong today. Oh yeah, the early crew was in full effect. We're in full effect now. Mr. Utter, Zemish, Gemini Knight, chilling. The early crew watching some demos as I'm getting ready as I was learning how to play Populous again. Ha! <laughs> Oh, Sunday fun day, Zemish, Mr. Utter, uh, Gemini Knight, Early Crew, Texas Foosballer checking in from the VIP Lounge, Proton Fig is here, the real Tony Rocks is here, I'll be seeing the real Tony Rocks in person very, very soon, Greg of Florida as well, I think I'm going to see Greg of Florida soon at BCF East. The real Tony Rocks and Greg and Oram freaking warming things up in the VIP lounge. What's up, Oram? Oram, are we gonna see you at BCF East or what? Arcade Ages, yo, 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 yo. Rocky2040, what's going on? Elrond0022, Porthal is here. d Mackey 828 just freaking rolling up to the VIP lounge and it's chopper. Freaking love it, d Mackey. Mark Fletcher's here. Mark's excited for revision demo party next week. I'm stoked, Mark. I'm stoked. Frank Nero. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, Frank? Great to see you. Voxel Trots, my partner in crime in the chat. Oh, baby. We're gonna, we're gonna have freaking 18 feet of Amiga goodness, Voxel Trots. Carlos Jackal. Sunday, fun day. Boom. Love it. Love it. Amy Matty, what is going on? Amy Matty, Gemini Knight, happy Sunday fun day to you. I'll be sure checking in from the VIP lounge, my main man, I'll be sure. Pithy Plitch is here, what's going on, Plithy? Amiga Bill's illegitimate son, what's going on? Amiga Mom is here, checking out the stream. What is going on, Amiga Mom? Hope you're having a great day, awesome to have you here. D Mackie, that sounds great, man. Adam Mortal, what's going on? Oh, thanks, Tony Rock. That was a good photo, right? It was a good photo. Gemini Knight. Bitbeam Cannon, what's going on, Bitbeam Cannon? Torque Live is here. Amika Cami, checking in from the future. Amika Cami, I need to get your URL again for the uh, Easter, the Easter egg hunt. The Amika Easter egg hunt. DJC Animation, what is up, dude? Great to see you. Swedish House Mafia in the house. Remotely interested. Long time no see, my man. Great to have you here. Grinder Cowboy. Corbo. See you at BCF East, my man. I saw Corbo getting excited about my Amiga 1000. I love it. Corbo makes Corbo makes the best. Oh man, he makes the best freaking. Um, he makes the best cappuccinos in the morning. Oh, it's so good. My main man Corbo making cappuccinos, making espresso. Woo! Conda Max, what's going on? Speaking of, of making cool stuff, uh, this demo is super, super rad, folks. It, it rocks. I love it. It's uh, it's called Phase One by Capsule. We're taking it all the way back to 1998, the year that I met Wife Device. It came in first place in the Amiga demo competition at Abduction. 1998. Are you guys psyched for revision next week or what, dude? I'm I'm so psyched. I, I can't I can't freaking wait. But you know what? Phase one's gonna hold you over until then. Eight bit bill. Let's freaking go. Amiga.
Oh yeah, a little orbital, a little Sunday fun day. What is up everyone? Happy Sunday fun day. It's still good, right? I'll let the orbital play for a little while. I love, I love phase one. Oh, hold on. The boing ball is getting, whoo. Easy there, boy. Easy there, boy. Proton Fig, what is going on? Proton Fig, you've been working on an Amiga demo for the revision demo party that is next weekend. I sent two mods in Discord so you can help pick one for the demo. Ooh, yo, we might get to pick pick a tune for a demo at Revision. What is up, everyone? Sep Lemon Amiga, he threw 2,000 bits into the fire. Sep Lemon Amiga, not just an Amiga Bill VIP. Also, uh, freaking amazing supporter over here on the Twitch. If we get the song cranking, let's go. There we go. There we go. Um, let me reboot the Amiga. Got, got a lot to do today, folks. Ah, 
Ha. Too much boing in that ball. Never, never too much boing in that ball, Greg. What's up, evil men? Checking in. My main man, patron over there, evil men. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, Upshift64 resubscribed. Uh, thank you, Upshift, for the, the resub. 13 months, man. We're over a year. Only Amiga Bell makes it possible. Thank you, Conjure1805. Gifted a sub to Super Tech Boy. Thank you so much, Conjure. Super Tech Boy cheered 100 bits. We need a hop train, baby. Let's go. Locust. Locust resubscribed. Sunday Funday, my main man, Locust. Thank you all so much for your support. What's up, Han Solo? How's it going, Han Solo? Red Eye, Red Eye 79. What's going on? Uh, Ami Maddie, my newest patron. What's going on? Elrond and Immortal. Uh, who else is here? Who did I miss? I, I didn't miss D Mackey. I see you there, Oram and D Mackey. Rob Smith in the chat. We're gonna play Rob Smith's. Rob Smith dropped a game today, folks. He dropped a game today, and we're gonna play it. We've got so many. Uh, so much to do today, folks. Sorry if I miss anyone in the chat. Oh, Bosco Bug. What's up, Bosco Bug? I think I got everyone. I'm not sure. I see they're remotely interested. I think I got everyone. Oh, Jake the Dog. I might have missed I didn't I didn't miss you in my brain, Jake the Dog, but I might have missed you with my words. Rob Smith drops games and drivers like a madman. You know it, the real Tony Rocks. Check it out. I got my uh, my handmade uh, Amiga mug. I'm drinking a Moscow Mule right now. Oh, it's so good. Conjure1805, greetings to the Big Apple from Germany. What is up, Germany? Oh, man, I love Germany. I hope all is well there. You're looking forward to Revision 24? Me too, dude. Me too. Mel Void, what's going on? So, actually, while we're talking about Revision, I'm not sure what to do next week because um, <laughs> that starting on Sunday, fun day of next week, I like things get super, super intense for me. Yo, Boss Machine Amiga with the Reese. Yo! Palinurk just gifted out 10 community subs. Palinurk is not just an Amiga Bill VIP. Palinurk just gifted out 10 subs. Yo, Palinurk, here's to you, my man. Thank you so much. That You're amazing, Palinurk. That really means a lot to me, by the way. And you know, like, Palinurk, all those subs that you guys do here, I always, you know, put the money back into the community. Like, every every uh, game that I play on stream is... I, I buy, of course. I mean, well, I mean, they're all small. Like Rob's game was a dollar donation. I was like, are you kidding me? But you know, everything we all we make the donations to any game I play on stream. I, so I appreciate that, Palinurk. Thank you so much, dude. Jiro, Jiro. Boom, boom. Check it out, guys. So you know, like all of my patrons got some uh, got some stickers already. But you know, and uh, but I never I never get to see the actual Patreon merch. So I was like, oh, let me just order from some stickers for VCF East. Where's the overhead cam? You know, we'll, we'll, we'll take the VHS cam. Um, there, there's so many, like, you know. So I got boom stickers. I'll be handing them out at VCF East. Boom stickers. We got we got Sunday fun, Sunday Fun Day stickers. And uh, and I'm I'm in the process of making new Westchester Amiga User Group stickers. Oh no, not new. We never had we never really had Wog stickers. I, we kind of did. But I'm making WOG stickers. Um, I'm, I'm up. I'm remastering the WOG logo in 61 megapixels. Woo! Yo, S. Jan Chow. What's going on, S. Jan Chow? Gemini Knight. Thank you so much for the resub, Gemini Knight. I really, really appreciate that. And Conjure1805. Thank you for gifting a sub to Retro Well. I really appreciate that. Conjure, Gemini Knight, and Pal Nurk. I appreciate you so much, man. Appreciate you. Oh, you got some swag. The real Tony Rocks. I never saw any of my swag. Texas Foosballer, you like these stickers? Foos, I, I just, you know, drop your, I think I have your address, Foos, but make sure you drop, send me a message, Foos, so I can send you the stickers. Anyone who wants the stickers, uh, send me your address in Discord, and I'll, I'll, I'll mail them to you, okay? And But I'll wait until I get the Westchester Media User Group stickers, too. See, for Tech Boy, I look at my Amiga Addict. We're going to do this today. We're going to do Amiga Addict today because I, I just, it's part of the Amiga news. Uh, Amiga Addict now offers recurring, recurring um, subscription. We're going to talk about that. I just got my latest Amiga Addict, you know, in uh, in the mail. And Wolf Child, it, it just inspired me to play Wolf Child. Also, the, the game that's going on right now in the English Amiga board, Lemon Amiga Competition, is... Populous is an old an oldie but a goodie. I haven't played that in a long time, so we'll play some Populous. Um, we got and we got tons of news and new Amiga games to play as well. Hardly Worgen, what's going on? 
<laughs> I need I need a coffee cup arcade mug that does not have coffee in it. Exactly, Hardy Oregon. Exactly. Uh, Proton Fig. There's one more. All right, come on. Next, Dune. Dune, play it. Thanks for all the links, Proton Fig. I'll check them out. Uh, Super Tech Boy, Amiga Addict is number is number one. It's the only Amiga magazine to make you snarl. The only Amiga magazine to make you snarl. <laughs> Super Tech Boy, look out, man. You get you get the, the Amiga Addict, you start snarling. Brother Bill with the resub. 59 months, Brother Bill, you rule. Thank you so much, dude. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Oh, Chris Doe is working on an Amiga Forever BBS with Trade Wars 2002 and a lemonade stand. Nice. A file repro, a Twitch stream, and uh, all kinds of good stuff. Chris, you rule. You rule, Chris. Good job there. I can't let us know when your when your BBS is live. Amiga Cami checking up in the future. No, I know. And Maddie. I, I looked up the manual on the Internet Archive. It's uh, we're we're gonna scratch the surface of populace, but we're not gonna get too deep into it because it takes a lot of practice. Oh, eight millimeter cam, eight millimeter cams buffering. Yeah, that's all. It's old. It's old. Give it a break. Oh, thanks, Chris. I appreciate that, dude. <laughs> Thank you. I, I love my stickers, the real ones and the virtual ones. Yeah, D Mackey, I'm gonna sh we're gonna talk about that in the news session, which we're gonna start in a second. Yo, Comatron, what is up, dude? Great to see you, Comatron. Yo, Sep, you rule. D Mackey, you you're gonna be able to get a lifetime Amiga addict sub. Yeah, thanks for shouting out Amiga Cami, brother Bill. Amiga Cami rules. What's my favorite Amiga addict cover? Oh man, you know we should we should take a look. We should take a look at them and uh, and and decide, Super Tech Boy. I mean, there, I, I do have uh, a little bit of a pity for issue number one, but <laughs> but there are some good ones. What we're listening to right now, folks, is uh, AmigaRemix.com. I, you know, I love this website. I wish it was easier. Oh wait, to to use continuous way switch backends to audio only. I don't even know how to do audio only on the options page. Ah, there we go. Oh, you know, I was using this on my smartphone, and I didn't know how to use it properly here on my desktop. But Amiga Remix is awesome. You know, it's all. Remember, we had last year it was about a year ago. We had we had the um, Encore 500 guys on Yo Gear, and um, and they were talking about the whole Amiga Remix scene. And you, you can you can just go like right to the belly of the beast here on AmigaRemix.com. It freaking it rocks. There's so much good stuff. Hemo Stick, what's going on? Nice, Chris. I love it. I love it. The real Tony Rocks. I know. I know. Number one's your favorite, of course. Texas Foosball likes the first one the best. Oh, you're the best. You're the best, D Mac. You're the best Texas Foos. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yo, Carlos Jackal. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yo, thanks for shouting out Jake the Dog. Brother Bill rules. Brother Bill is the, is the master at uh, shouting stuff out. Yeah, Yo Gear and Pete Clark. That was a good episode, right? Right, Proton Fig. Appreciate that. Yo, Lovejoy, 5001. What's going on, Lovejoy? Thank you for uh, thank you for joining the stream. It's a pleasure to have you, Lovejoy. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. I'm uh, Amiga Bill. I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch almost every Sunday. We call it the Sunday Fun Day. We play new Amiga games. There's so many new Amiga games coming out every week. We check out all the latest Amiga news because there's so much going on in the Amiga community. I have guests on my stream. We play classic games. Like today, we're going to play some classic games, Wolf Child and Populous. But we got a lot of new games to play, too. It's crazy. It's crazy. But the best part about the streams is hang out with everyone in chat because the me community is is the best and uh, all of you here in the chat just absolutely rule. You know what's weird? You know what's weird about 8mm cam? I mean, 8mm cam, that image is from the past. Because look, I'm wearing a red t-shirt and and I don't have my hat on yet. <laughs> good thing good thing I had, well, I don't know if even my pants are on in that shot. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. I don't even know. I think my pants were on in that shot. I hope so. <laughs> Amiga Mark with the resub. Thank you, Amiga Mark. And thanks for... Yeah, Amiga Mark, you're very active in my Discord, and I appreciate that. You keep on rocking in my Discord. DJ Bass, what's going on? Dr. Dragon Smoke, what's up with the Amiga Live emoji? I love Amiga Live. Oh, man. Gemini Knight says, you rule, Bill. Love hanging out with you and everyone here every Sunday. So much fun. Oh, I, I appreciate that, Gemini. Gemini, cheers. I'm just... Yo, three-year anniversary. I, 
that's amazing. It's hilarious. I'm just lucky I have my pants on. <laughs> oh man. I'm, all right, let me queue up some mods here. And uh, we're going to do some Amiga news because there's so much going on. It's crazy. I, what, let me see. Can I? I'm kind of digging these tunes though. Can I just do continuous player? Wait a second. Let me see. If I go. Can I go here? And then where's my. Uh, oh man. There we go. Boom. Take some actions. We're going to do. Uh, no. Music playback engine. Uh, audio player only. Audio, okay, let's save the options. Site, okay, can I, can we do this? Continuous play. Cool. We'll see if it works, folks. Love it. Um. Oh, wait, what did you drop? What? You finished a remix today? Most will know. Not even true. Oh, what ha send it over, Comatron. Oh wait, the national Italian soccer team is playing in New York City tonight. Oh, at the Red Bull Arena. I know. No, yeah, it's in New Jersey, but it's like right across the river. I know exactly where it is. Red Bull. That's amazing, Jiro. That's so cool. Gemini Knight. I am. Thank you. Terminal Karatra. What's going on? Now Terminal. We're just hanging out, shooting the breeze. It's jungle and Mario related. It's on the YouTube's already. All right, hold on. Let's. Uh, you know, my streams are also very uh, interactive. I love to, uh, you know, have interaction with the community. So Comatron just dropped a hot tune. We're gonna play Comatron's tune and Proton Fig's tunes as well. Let's do it right now. This is Comatron. Hold, on. hold on. Comat, look at Comatron. Where's my desktop? Comatron. Comatron is the man. This is what AI image generation is meant for. Exactly. Balto. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Comatron. You rule, dude. Yo, Comatron, you rule, dude. I loved it. I loved it, brother. Nice job. Cancel. I don't want to play that because that's, that's got some copyright issues. Uh, that was awesome, Comatron. Thank you. Let, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see what once we're once we're playing tunes from friends. Let's see what Proton Fig dropped. Yeah, R.I.P. Taylor. R.I.P. Taylor, you rule. Taylor's the best. Um. Oh, he dropped some mod files in there. All right, we got to download them. I'm going to download them, put them in a music folder. Oh, wait, there is a music folder. What? There's a music folder already? Weird. 
All right, I, I'm working on it. I'm working on it, Fig. I'm working on it, dude. Download. Uh, save. All right. All right, we got two. We got two songs. Uh, two tunes from uh, Proton Fig. I'm going to. Uh, Yo, SW3PO, SW3PO, I'm pretty sure I have your address, but can you, uh, can you send it to me again, just, just in case? I'm also making Westchester Amiga user group stickers, so I'll, I'll wait until, they're, they're going out this week, I'll have them for, uh, VCF East, and then I'll, uh, I'll send those to you too, but I think, if you're a patron, you already get some of these. Amiga Man Johan, what is up? D Mackey 828 you maniac holy crap D Mackey thank you for gifting Seb 10 subs to my community yo D Mackey thank you so much dude you rule D Mackey oh my god oh D Mackey D Mackey thank you Palinurk thank you for the massive subs wow oh god I'm so lucky D Mackey I wish you could come to VCF East and you can hang Smash 1980. Look at those caps. I, I use that mug all the time. Good evening to you, Smash. Uh, we're about to listen to a tune, uh, two tunes from Proton Fig. Um, where are you, Proton? I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna use XM Player. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna use XM Player just because it's quick here. Uh, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. Close that. The Amiga remixes are cool, man. They're super cool. All right, so this is called Mantissa Part 2B by Proton Fig. Oh, baby. How do you do a poll? I would love to do a poll, Proton Fig. So, guys, I'm gonna put these. I'm gonna play two tunes, and the winning tune goes uh, on the demo, the finished goal demo revision next week. How do I, I don't know how to do a poll. I don't know how, how do we, I don't know how to use Twitch. Does anyone know how to do a poll? <laughs> I don't know how to use this Twitch thing. Hold on, I'm trying to figure it out. Poll. I got, I'm doing it. We're listening to the first two number one Mantissa part 2B. I think I created a poll. I don't know. Did I make a poll yet? Do you guys see it? Do you guys see a poll? Okay, good. We got the poll going. This is Mantissa part 2B. Yo Conjure 1805, thank you for gifting a sub to Dr. Dragon Smoke. Thank you, Conjure. Appreciate you. Andy Herbert, what's going on? 
Hey, this is my first poll. My first ever poll. <laughs> yeah, you should definitely listen to both songs first. This is song number one. Mantissa Part 2B. Or maybe they just like it so much, they're like, that's the one I want. I know a good thing when I see it. Very possible. One minute left this tune, folks. One minute left, then we'll play Quantum Wave next. This is Mantissa Part 2B. Mantissa Part 2B. Oh, uh, Team Accu, a lot of us are pole virgins here today. Ha! I got a pole in my basement. I got a pole in my basement, Team Accu, I'm just saying. I tried, I, I tried, I tried the pole dance once. It's really difficult. It's really difficult. I don't know how to reset the pole terminal. Am I bringing the, I should, oh, I should totally bring the pole to BCF East. Oh, you got two poles in your basement, boom. My pole is portable, by the way. It's portable. Okay, that was it, it looped, it looped. That was Mantissa part 2B, song number one. Now let's listen to song number two called Quantum Wave, and the winner will be the tune that is used in the demo that Finnish Gold is submitting to Revision 2024. It's exciting. Can people change their choice? I, I don't, Greg, I don't know. I, I, I never did a poll. It's my first poll. I'm a poll virgin. Ooh, I like this one too. Quantum Wave. This one's shorter, folks. This shorter is only three, three and a half minutes. Quantum Wave. I mean, I, if you guys want, I can I can start a new poll. You can't change your choice. Do you want me to start a new poll? Hold on, I'll start a new poll. Now I gotta type this again. Delete the poll. N new poll. I love this part. All right, I'm gonna start the poll now since you already got a nice taste of song number two. All right. All right, take two. Take two on the poll. <laughs> Yo, Jan909, what's going on, Jan? Yeah, it definitely has outrun vibes. They're both good for demos. Agreed, agreed. I like them both too. Palinurk with the resub, Palinurk. Hey, Palinurk, you're amazing. Thank you so much, Palinurk, for everything. I seriously, I really appreciate you, Palinurk. Thank you, thank you, Palinurk. Cheers. Thank you so much, Palinurk. Elrond, you, you're liking number two a little more. All right. They're both great. They're both great. I agree. Chris is like a number two. That's a tough one, guys. It's a tough one. They're both they're both good. That's a good problem to have, right? Oh, Jan99, have a good lunch. I hope you're eating some tasty food, and thank you for joining us on your lunch break. Texas, you like the first one, more 80s techno? Dan two is more chill, Dan, I agree. Song one reminds me of David Wicker's Lazy Jones. Oh, good point, Terminal. Oh, Ron likes two. D Mackie likes one better, both are cool. Gemini likes one. Man. Ha <laughs> Voxel, it's all good, Voxel. Voxel. 
18 feet of Amiga good. Uh, that's the, name, the new name of our exhibit. 18 feet of Amiga goodness and a pole. I'll stop talking now. Listen to the end of number two. Oh, there you have it. Man, those were two good ones. Those were two good ones. All right, vote away. Vote away, folks. Is the first Amiga Bill poll in the history of my streams. Which song will be in the Finnish Gold demo that they are submitting to Revision 2024? What's up, Cloaked Alien? How's it going? Amiga Man Johan? This is it. You, you, you know, this is the first uh the first poll. The first poll. Uh yeah, let's fire some Citrix. Gemini Knight. Well, I don't know. Like, how, how long should I let it go for? Vote early and often. First poll take two. Yo, Sep Lemon Amiga, I am a filmmaker, and we tend to do more than one take. We tend to do more than one take, so it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I need some more mule. Speaking of filmmaking, uh, I can, that's what I'm going to talk about in the Amiga news section. You know, I'll leave the poll for a little longer. And here's what we're gonna do. We'll do, you know, we'll do Amiga Bill News. So check it out. Uh, I'm super, super lucky because I met so many great people in the Amiga community and two amazing people have been on my stream before. They're also in the Wolf Child issue of Amiga Act Magazine, Anthony and Nicola Caulfield. They are making a brand new documentary called the Amiga 500 story. Where are they in here? Where Anthony and Nico, there we go. Here, here they are. Check it out. The Commodore Amiga 500 story. They have a great interview in the latest issue of Amiga Act magazine. There they are. An awesome husband and wife team. They're two of the nicest people I've ever met. I, they're they're so and they're super talented. You know, you might know their uh, other documentaries. They got PlayStation documentary. They got the uh, the Rubber Key Wonder Z X Spectrum documentary. Of course, they have uh, from bedrooms to billions and from bedrooms to billions the Amiga years. And now they're working on the Commodore Amiga 500 story. And I'm shooting a bunch of stuff for them. I shot Gail Wellington. You know, uh, CD TV uh, leader. Uh, Gail also a lead developer of uh, Commodore software back in the day. And uh, I also shot the interview with Jeff Porter, a lead hardware guy on the Amiga 500. So Jeff basically was the hardware leader for Amiga 500, and Gail was the software leader. So uh, we shot both of them. Look at that. Oh, yeah, there's another world. Freaking love it. I see, I see some speedball down there. Um, but anyway, there's a great article about the documentary and about Anthony and Nicola, Nicola in uh, the latest issue of Amiga Act magazine. They rule. Oh, I'll check it out, Proton Fig. I learned about polling. What's the biggest number of takes I ever had to make ever? That's a good question, Terminal. I, you know, we haven't, I haven't done that many takes. Oh, someone asked where you can buy this bowling ball. You can't. You can't buy it. It's not for sale. Um, sorry if I, I missed your uh, chat before. So anyway, I did, uh, I did a shoot. I did a shoot for them. And let me go over to, my, oh, I think I have it in my news section here. If I go here, I go here. And then I go to my, uh, yeah, here it is, boom, boom, see it, boom, there we go, desktop. Uh, I did a shoot for them, and I, I pimped out, I pimped out my basement, my basement became a, a film set, <laughs> so I had the, uh, I had the 500 set up, the, the 1000, and the 2000 video toaster set up, and then I was doing beauty shots of all the machines, including, they even, I don't know how they're going to work into the documentary, but they got, they're going to work the Amiga 1200 into it, the CD32, uh, what else did I shoot there? I shot the 1200, CD32, 500, 
And uh, but it was cool because I got I kind of turned my basement into a set. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it this way. Look, we got the wall. Oh, th this is not this is what I based the remaster on. We're remastering the wall logo. Check out here's uh oh I should have brought it with me, but it's on the wall. Um, that is a scene from Cyberpunk's two. Saving rescue Amiga Bill. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm turning this is my Amiga corner. This is my Amiga corner. I'm, I'm gonna pimp it out and I'll, I'll probably end up streaming from this corner eventually. It is a motorized turntable. Yes, it is. Thanks, Jake. So it was super cool. I had a blast. And then I can show you a photo. I can show you a photo. Uh, boom, if I go here, I go to my profile. This photo, this is like, I, I shot, this isn't a screen grab from the film, but this is kind of what the film's gonna look like, you know. This is a photo I took with my still photo camera. I, uh, that's all like fake light, by the way. That's, I, I made that sunset. It's inspired by the real sunset, but I needed that, that look to stay over the course of many hours. So that sunset look only lasts for about 20 to 25 minutes in real life. So I recreated it with my, my artificial lights. Oh yeah, Amiga. There will be a, a pic of Amiga Dad in there. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, uh, D Mackey. You love the carpet and the walls and the lines make it look like it's from the 80s. Thanks, Amiga Cami. It is. I mean, it technically it's really from. It really is. I mean, this is my almost my ex exact setup from back in the day. Except I had my 2000 to the left of the 500. So I had 2000 to the left of that Wyco joystick. There's another bay there. Then I had the 500 there. So, but I think I'm gonna incorporate the 1200 into it permanently as well. So, uh, and I'll probably like I'll I'll put the CD32 up there too. I think I'm putting the CD32 right where the lava lamp is. I don't know. I don't know. Yo, Sir Garbage Truck, what's going on? I'm only an hour different until next weekend, though. So. Yo, VB, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream, VB. I appreciate it so much. So anyway, this is coming soon to... So it's great to see... Sir Garbage Truck, you must be fired up for next week. We have a poll going. We listened to two tracks from Finnish Gold, and uh, the, 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 the people are going to decide, man. They're going to decide which track is going to be used in Finnish Gold's entry next week. So um, anyway, I, I, that, that's the Amiga Bill news. Uh, my personal news for the week. I did, you know, personal news. I got the stickers. I got Sunday Fun Day stickers and Boom stickers. Uh, I'll have them at, B, at BCF East. And anyone who wants one, send me your mailing address on Discord. That'd be the easiest way. I'll, I'll mail them to you. I'm also getting Westchester Amiga User Group stickers made. You can see, you can see my the WOG logo up there. I remastered it, 61 megapixels. So it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's great to see you, truck. All right, let's, um, I think we need to end this, this poll. We need to end this poll. I'm going to pause, pause that. I'm going to come back over here. Let's just take a quick, a quick sample. We'll do a quick sample of each tune one more time. Um, this is number one, Mantissa Part 2B from Finnish Gold. We'll listen to one minute of each one. One minute of each one. Tone Rebellion, what's going on? Amiga Cami, I'll throw some in with Cyberpunks too. But the, your Cyberpunks 2 was on that shelf, Amiga Cami. I needed the extra box. Your Cyberpunks 2 was on that shelf in the photo. <laughs> oh, the poll ended. Sorry. All right, I was trying to hype it up. I was trying to hype it up, but the poll was only 10 minutes long. It automatically ended. All right, so congrats to song number two, Quantum Wave. So this is the uh, this is the second place, the second place tune, Mantissa Part 2B. I learned, I learned about polls. Very, I, I kind of like Mantissa Part 2B. I didn't get to vote though. I didn't even know how to vote. I like this one. And here's uh, Quantum Wave, the winning tune. Here's, this is Quantum Wave, the winning tune. Winning tune for Finnish Gold. So, Truck, when next weekend, when you're at Revision and the Finnish Gold entry comes on, you're gonna hear this tune, Quantum Wave, and it is, Thanks to the amazing people in this community, they just chose it. Thank you to Proton Fig for bringing your music to this community and allowing us to choose the song. That's amazing, Proton Fig. Thank you so much, dude. Turn it up, baby. Let me pull the. While we're listening to this, Amiga Cami, let's see. I think, can I zoom here? How do I do it?
I'm Mika Kami. Can you see the mouse pointer there? That's a Cyberpunks 2 box right there next to Out of This World. And that's another Cyberpunks 2 box right there next to Wiz and Turbo Tomato. Um, I don't know which one's yours. Whichever one, I don't know which one is which, but one of those is yours, Amiga Cami. It's coming, and I'll throw the stickers in there too. One of those boxes is yours. See, I needed the box filled in. I did have connect, I did have connect on the shelf, but the white box was popping a little bit too much, so I, po I put it up there. But yeah, one of those boxes is yours, Amiga Cami. Yo, D Mackey 828 thank you for gifting subs to the one and only Sir Garbage Truck, Revision Host Extraordinaire, as well as Chucky Gang, the legend himself, the man who saved more Amigas than anyone in the history of the world. Oh man, thank you D Mackey 828 you rule. Chucky Gang, are you guys sponsoring the Amiga Demo Competition again? Oh yeah, I got Rygar on the shelf of me, Cammy. Nivrig, there, Nivrig, see, you're on the shelf too, Nivrig. Where, where are, you, where is he? Nivrig, see, you see that nice red turbo tomato tomato box popping right there. You're all gonna be, you're all gonna be in the Amiga 500 story. Nagram, what's going on, Nagram? I mean, my, I think next week it all, it all goes back to normal. It all goes back to normal next week. Uh, what else did you send here, Proton Fig? We'll do that, and then I gotta start the news section. One more. There's a finished gold release by Rock and JLD. Let's check it out. Anyway, congrats. That's a yo know, quantum. You know what? Quantum Wave is really good. It's really good. All right, let's do this. Let's go to my desktop, and then we'll we'll play this thing, and then uh, see what, we'll see what he's got for us, and then we'll do the Amiga news. That's beautiful. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, Proton. Yo, Nagram. Wait, Nagram. Did you guys have a meeting? Thanks for shouting out Nagram. Nagram streams here on Twitch as well. He's an awesome dude. And El Presidente of the Norwich Amiga user group. I think I just saw them having a meeting recently too. Oh no, that's not a render. That's my real place. That's my that's my real that's my real place. That's my Amiga corner I'm building. I'm probably gonna move my streams down there eventually. Nagram said Norwich Amiga User Group had a meeting yesterday. They had record attendance. They're putting some pictures up on Facebook right now. Send the link. Send the link, Nagram. We can check them out. This tune slaps. It slaps, Proton. I dig it. Yeah, never. I'll, I'll put up the picture again. That's my real corner. My real boxes, my real VHS saves. My man Marcus, he said my King's Quest and my Space Quest boxes have some value to them. We got some vultures to vampires, the future was there. We got the the Baglin books, I think that was his name. We got Page Dream and Scout. We're gonna do a Scala. We're gonna do a Scala stream soon, guys. Thanks, Sigurdborn, I appreciate it. Thanks, Super Tech Boy. Thanks, uh, a Martian. I appreciate that. Oh, Nivrig, I'll send you Nivrig, I'll send you the high res picture so you can see your turbo tomato up there. Soon, of course, Nivrig. I got this in the news section, which we need to start. Thanks, Super Deck Boy. Uh, Rogue Declan. Rogue Declan's gonna be right here next to the Turbo Tomato Tomato baby. Woo! This the new yeah, I'm, the new studio is under construction, Super Tech Boy, it is. Yo, Conjure, thank you for gifting a sub to Amartian. I appreciate that, Conjure. Thank you so much. Thank you, Conjure. I I'm so happy with my Amiga corner. And there's going to be one more Amiga. I'm going to put the 1200 to the left. I think I'm going to put the 1200 there. This is like the OCS corner. You know what I mean? I'll, and I'll go AGA on the left, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. 
We'll see. But I, I, I'm going to anticipate streaming from uh, this basement in the summertime. By the time I get it all dialed in perfectly. Yo, Proton. Great stuff, brother. It's time for some Amiga news, folks. I love this guitar. I love this guitar. Amiga News with Amiga Bill. I'm just, it, it slaps so hard, dude. I love it, Proton. It's so good. It's, it's at Amiga Mom's house, Super Tech Boy. Yo, Pro Proton, it's so good, man. Congrats. Uh, folks, don't forget, April 12th, 13th, and 14th, Vintage Computer Festival East. Me and Voxel Trops will have 18 feet of Amiga goodness, and maybe even a poll. Maybe even a poll. <laughs> uh, and then on Friday, I'm going to be on a panel with Ash at High, Lady Isla Roos, and some other folks. It's going to be rad. Here's the link. Copy. Paste. It's all about the GUI. Bill Hurd will be there. Jerry Ellsworth will be there. Lots of Commodore legends are going to be there, so it's going to be it's going to be an absolute blast. The BCFB is coming to Wall Township, New Jersey. I can't wait. I can't freaking wait. Rock plays the guitar. He he rocks. He rocks. We got a lot of news today, so we got you know I, I keep doing the uh, Beast, the Vintage Computer Festival. I'll, I'll just keep reminding folks. You know it wouldn't be an Amigaville news section without a trip over to Indie Retro News. The Sega Master System Vigilante is still coming to the Commodore Amiga via Nesso Games. Let's check it out. Many of you are still waiting for Nesso Games arcade platformer of Super Delivery Boy, a game which is due for release at some point in the near future. There's another game you should keep an eye on as development progresses and that's Vigilante. A game that was released sometime back as a NAF port to the Commodore Amiga, which is now getting a new port by Nesso Games from the Sega Master System, so Sega Master System to Amiga. In the words of the creator from the first announcement, I prefer this over the arcade version, at least visually I do. Also, the arcade port is already on the Amiga and it sucks pretty bad. Ha ha ha! Woo! This is a remix of a Sid, got it, Proton. I, I dig it. Time for some Vigilante SMS to Amiga preview. Here are three minutes of the gameplay showing some advancements. The first two levels and all sprites have been graphically retouched compared to the original. The enemy's spawning logic is there. I need to get more enemies in. Boss fights are still missing, but intro and cutscenes are there. It's already possible to walk through all the levels and to get to the end of the game. As soon as I finish implementing more enemies, I will release a playable demo, so stay tuned. I can't wait, Nesso. I can't wait. I'll let, I'll let Proton Song finish up, and then we'll play the demo here. Yo, Proton, it rocked, brother. It rocked. Great job, Proton Fig. And I, I, I hope I hope you like the choice. I hope you like the people's choice uh, for the song. I think it was really good. Let's check it out. Scorpion Engine. Bit. Yo, Retro Ralph with the resub. 46 months. That's awesome. Thank you, Retro Ralph. I appreciate it. So we, oh good, I see the Twin Towers, I see the Empire State Building, we're in New York, I love it. I love it, the gangs have taken over the town, it's up to you to defend your turf. Yeah, baby. We got, oh, oh, look at that. The roads have taken Maria, only you can get her back. It sure is Sunday fun day, Quantic. Oh, it sounds good too.
Digger Bar and Maria. I want I want to play the demo. I can't wait. It looks great. Oh really, Terminal? I don't know that game. I would love to check it out, Terminal. It sounds awesome, dude. Yo, thank you for shout out Sigurborn. Sigurborn's an amazing streamer here on Twitch as well. Also an Amiibo VIP patron. Also coming to VCF East. Oh baby. Thank you for shouting out Sigurborn, brother Bill. I appreciate it. Look at that guy. That guy's cool. Smoking a cigarette there, leaning against the, the wall. That's awesome. <laughs> I love I love characters with personality. You know what I mean? I love I love him. That guy is rad. He's got big beards. The band is carrying Maria to their headquarters. The junkyard. The junkyard dog. I know there's a lot of junkyards in Brooklyn. That's probably where they are. Oh yeah, I see the skyline back there. I'm sure they're in Crooklyn. No way. Iraq just released a video guide and had a port game to the Amiga using Scorpion on YouTube. That's amazing to me, Cammy. I didn't see it. Oh, yeah, Tony Rocks meets to perform the VCF induction ceremony for Sigurborn. It, it involves me, me, you, and a pole. <laughs> Sigurborn is gonna never gonna come back ever again. He's gonna be like <laughs> Anyway, this game looks super, super red. A good, a good beat em up. Here's the link to uh, the Vigilante article on Indie Retro News. Copy and paste. Ha, <laughs> Sigur. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Next up in the news section, Jet Hunters. Jet Hunters, an Amiga preview of a new arcade shoot 'em up by Coagulus. Thanks to a heads up from Saberman, Coagulus has made available an early build preview of his her work in progress shoot 'em up for the Amiga called Jet Hunters. We got the demo, we're gonna play it. A game that the developer says isn't just a sequel to Jet Hunt, but also a partial tribute to the game Zybex, which came out on 8 bit computers in the 1980s. To coincide with this news, we got some new footage of the game. Uh, as well as some further info posted over on the English Amiga Board forum below. Here's the latest from the creator. I've had a terrible time with computers the last couple of years. My laptop died. I moved to Pi Amiga, then to an old laptop, which then died too. Then I built a new PC and suffered two hard drive deaths. Lost over a year of code. Holy crap, that's brutal. But thanks to earlier backups that were found, I've got Jet Hunt 2, Jet Hunters, to a preview stage at least. It's buggy, especially my firing routines, which I need to rewrite. And there's only one level in the preview, but it's one or two players. It should run on non-AGA, unlike Jet Hunt, although I think it needs at least one mega chip RAM. This is the first disk image I've tried of it. It'll run from hard drive 2, though no assigns are necessary. Fingers crossed it works. It, it does work, folks. It does work. It does work. And it, we're gonna play it in a few minutes. Yo, terrible fire! What's going on? When am I? When I'm? When I? When I, when, you know? I'm, you know? I'm sad. I can't go to revision, but I'm also really happy because I got some awesome jobs. So it all depends on work. You know what I mean? Politus, what's going on? I can't. I I, I can't wait to get to uh, revision. Yo, what's up, Mr. PMB? Great to see you. Han Solo, that one felt like Devil's Temple. It did feel a little like Devil's Temple, Han Solo. I, I agree. I'm gonna skip to the gameplay because we're gonna we're gonna actually play this demo in a little while. Buzz Holden, Gordon Tempers, Pat Hi, tell me the soda for Stevie. Hi. Hey, we're the Pointer Sisters. The Amiga. Color, sound, graphics, power. 
Yo, Lady Ilarus with the raid. Lady Ilarus, thank you for the raid. Lady Ilarus, I told you I, in the Amiga News section, lady, uh, we just did it. We talked about Friday, April 12th. Myself, Lady Ilarus, Ash said hi. Oh, wait, and who else is on the panel? I, I, I kind of lost track, but some other awesome persons on the panel. We're going to be talking about streaming from retro computers. And uh, Lady Ilarus is a great streamer here on Twitch. New shout her out. Thanks, Brother Bill. She rules, and uh, she's really good with uh, like Apple II series. Uh, she's good to everything, but I, I like watching her uh, with the Apple IIs, because I had an Apple IIe back in the day. And uh, she rules, and I can't wait to be on the panel with her. I'm psyched. Ron's computer videos. Thank you, Lady Ilarus. I appreciate that. Yo, Manic Weiner, what's going on? It's uh, Amiga Gamer, you name changed. Oh, what's up, Amiga Gamer? Krivy, what's going on, Krivy? Lady Iris, it's gonna be a fun panel. I love being on panels, it's a blast. And uh, everyone at VTF is super nice, and Ash is super nice, and Ron sounds awesome in the emails, so I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be great. And oh wait, I'll get to learn how to say Ilarus correctly. Amazing! <laughs> I can get no. We have Amiga Bill University here on my stream, uh, Lady A, where people teach me how to say. Usually, is they teach me how to say words in German. Usually, uh, but you know, you can teach me. We can have Amiga Bill University IRL. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. He's Apple too as well. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, Sigurborn. Uh, Sigurborn, I'm, I'm literally, I'm going to be flying in. I'm on a 6 a.m. flight <laughs> to New Jersey from St. Louis. I'm going to be wrecked on Friday night. I'm going to be absolutely wrecked. I got a 6 a.m. flight from St. Louis to, to New York. So I fly, I fly into New York. I come to my house in New York, pack up all my stuff, and then, and then drive down to Jersey for the panel. Hopefully I get there in time. So, you know, if everything goes as planned, I'll be on a panel with Lady with Lady Adlerus and Ash said hi and and and, uh, and Ron. <laughs> if everything goes as planned, you're coming in Thursday night after you teach all day. At least you got a nice little a little rest there. Uh, here is the link to the Indie Retro News article, copy paste, where you can download uh, Jet Hunters. So so far we got um, BCF East, Sega Master System Vigilantes getting ported. Jet Hunters. Now, here's this game is finished and it's super, super rad. This is not an Indie Retro News article. Uh, this game is called Step 5. It's a Tetris style game. So it says Step 5 by Rico59 is a Tetris like game. Oh no, another Tetris? Yes, but the satisfaction is there. We've made and finished the game. So, congrats to Rico. Rico uh, was just psyched that he actually made a game and finished it. He's very happy. The difference between uh, his game, Step 5, and Tetris lies in the following figures. Each one is made up of five small cubes. Pentamones. Forming the figure, increasing the number of figures compared with Tetris that fall. So it's up to you to make as many lines as possible with pieces that are each more twisted than the last. Here's the itch.io. And uh, we're going to play the game. We're going to play the game in a little while. What's up, uh, Scooby? Great to see you. I try to keep the energy high. Try to keep it high. Copy, paste. Indie Retro News. There's Indie Retro News. Just in time. Just in time, Indie Retro News. Indie Retro News, hot off the press. Here's an article for you. Step 5 Tetris game now available. We just checked out your awesome articles about Vigilante and, uh, and Jet Hunters. And now uh, we're talking about Step 5, a new, a new Tetris type game that I'm going to play in a few minutes. He does, oh, Ron does a lot of repairs. Oh, that's good, because I know nothing about hardware. Pro Don Fig would like to clarify one thing so people don't get confused next week. Fig, Finnish Gold, is a Commodore 64 group, and we were the first group in Finland who released a demo on an Amiga in 1987. But regardless of this, Finnish Gold is a Commodore 64 only. Finnish Gold has Amiga section with a group called Ascension. The group Sir Garbage Truck is in. Ah, very, very cool. You're driving down early Friday morning. I'll fly over you, Corbo, on my way on my way home. Yo, Sep Lemon Amiga, thank you for gifting a sub to Indie Retro News. I right, Sep, you're awesome, dude. I really, really appreciate it.
Oh, you're burnt out in Tetris games. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I get it. You know what's cool, though? Like, like he said, his goal was just to make a game and finish it. Like a complete game. And he did. And it, wait until you see it, though. When you see it, it's a really good Tetris game with really good music. It's dope. Um, here's an update. An update from Nivrig on Rogue Declan Let's Get Physical Edition. There was there are a few bumps along the road in the mastering process for Rogue Declan, Declan Physical Edition. However, everything is smoothed out now. Rogue Declan Physical Editions begin shipping next week. I think that's technically this week because this was posted yet like two days ago, which was last week. I'm informed that the new master CD has worked, i.e. been understood by the production company, and the distribution CD-ROMs will pre be produced in the next day or so. I expect all orders to be shipping next week, perhaps sooner. So if you're one of the folks like me who ordered a physical edition of Rogue Declan, your delivery is imminent, imminent. And here is a link to the English Amiga board thread where you can talk to Niverig yourself. So uh, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I can't wait to get my physical edition of Rogue Declan. It's going on the Amiga shelf. It's pick, yo, Nivrig, pick the spot that you want on the shelf. I see it, Turbo Tomato, right there. Pick the spot that you want, Nivrig. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Next up, R Squadron. I found this one over on uh, AmigaNews.de, I think. I think I found it over there. Developer Monsters Legs has made a name for himself in the scene with games for the ZX Spectrum. Recently, he's released a previously unpublished shoot 'em up for the Amiga, which he designed as a 16 year old in the 1990s. Our squadron was created using the legendary Suck engine shoot 'em up construction kit and deals in a humorous style with resurrected arcade games from the 70s and 80s that attack Earth. And of course, only the player can stop them. Our Squadron can be downloaded free of charge in ADF format from the website at in the title link. That, so that website is itch.io, of course. Monster's Legs. Monster's Legs make an R Squadron with suck. Oh, Indie Retro News. Boing Ball Bunny is going to get played in a few moments. Oh yeah, dude, the Band 1103, the artwork on the Rogue Declan Physical Editions is pretty amazing. Voxel, we need to coordinate because I need to pack a little bit lighter just because of my crazy schedule, how I'm flying in on Friday morning. And then I have to, it's, I, I'm literally, VCF eats a sandwich between two big jobs for me. But fortunately, the schedule will work out, but it's not going to be an easy schedule for me. Yo, what's up, the Retro Gaming Planet? Great to see you. The demo we chose to tune for is between Complex and Scoopix and Offense. Nice. Want to see a preview of what's coming? Sure. Of course I do. Our Squadron, a name picked because Squadrons A to Q have all been... We're going to play it. We'll play it. And I'll, I'll, read the, uh, I'll read the description when I play it. Uh, but here's the link to uh, Our Squadron. Copy paste. Yeah, we should have Itch get an Amiga category. Itch.io to me is, is the best way to get indie uh, retro games for Amiga retro games. Geniac, what's going on? I'm great, dude. I'm great. Um, let's continue the news here. So we got BCF East, Vigilante, Jet Hunters, Step 5, Rogue Declan, Let's Get Physical coming soon, Our Squadron, and hot off the press today, yo, Maya82 with the resub, Maya82, not just a subscriber here on Twitch, also the first Amiga Bill VIP. What is up, Maya? Great to see you. Hot off the press, Maya. Bunny's Boing Ball Bounty. Bunny hopping Boing Ball Fun for the Commodore Amiga by Rob Smith Dev and Virgil. Looking to play a charming and family-friendly game for Easter? Then this game by Rob Smith and Virgil might just be the game for you. It's Bunny's Boing Ball Bounty for the Commodore Amiga. A game in which you play as a cute bunny, you must collect all the eggs as fast as possible on a rotating Amiga Boing Ball. 
Ha, <laughs> that's amazing. To coincide with this news, not only do we have some footage from Saberman, but also a screenshot from the game below. The creator of the game, Rob Smith, said it was created in Amos. This is a speedrun challenge. Your aim is to collect as many Easter eggs as possible as fast as possible. So clearly the path you take is important. You control a rabbit bouncing around a classic Amiga blowing ball. So clearly the path you take is important. Uh, you control a rabbit. Okay. Uh, aside from collecting eggs, there's some other things to watch out for. Energy drinks. A rabbit will hop faster for a short time, allowing you to complete the level quicker. Be careful. It might be too fast and a bomb. Avoid all costs. This will kill your rabbit and end the game. Okay, so get the energy drinks. Avoid the bombs. Saberman's got a video here, and we're going to play it in a minute. Nice music from Virgil. Virgil rules. Oh, that looks so cool. Air Yuri says boom. Hello, Air Yuri. Air Yuri. Boom. Boom. Hello, Air Yuri. What's up, my main man? See, Maya knows what's up. Maya, Maya wishes Amiya Kami a good morning. Maya knows that uh, Amiya Kami is checking in from the future. What do you guys want to play first? I think we should play this first. Like, we should just, just transition right into it. You know what I mean? Uh, what is left in the Amiga News section? This is cool. So I never heard about the Playdate Portable. Now you guys know what the Playdate Portable is, but this is Amigo Tracker version 1.5 is now available for the Playdate Portable. It's a tracker. Pro I love. I just love these like Game Boy esque graphics <laughs> with an Amiga Tracker. It's super super rad. Uh, I just want to go. I just want to go there, please. Amigo Tracker. Amigo Tracker is a quirky music player for Playdate that plays trope plo Amigo Tracker is a quirky music player for Playdate that plays Pro Tracker modules. Now I never, I never, uh, I, I never heard what the, what, I don't even know what the Playdate is, but this is what it is. Check it out. That's a Playdate, and now you can uh, put Amigo Tracker on it. Do any of you guys have a Playdate? Voxel, you've got one? Oh, Voxel's got one. Cool. 3D Code Warrior. What is up, 3D Code Warrior? What? Come on. There we go. There it is. The Playdate is a tiny handheld game system with a bunch of brand new games. We made Playdate just for fun. That's cool. That's cool. And, so, and now we've got, um, wait, not that one, wrong one. And now we've got um, a mod player for it, the Amigo Tracker. So if you got, yo, this is for you. This is for you, Voxel Trots. You gotta get the Amigo Tracker. I love it. That's super rad. All right, last and not least in the Amiga news section, Amiga Addict Magazine. Y'all know, like, not everyone has a Pixels at Dawn that gives them a little pokey poke and says, hey, your subscription is about to lapse. Not not everyone's got that. But fret not if you don't have it. If you don't have a Pixels, if you don't have a Pixels to poke you. <laughs> Amiga Act Magazine now offers ongoing subscriptions. For a long time, readers and non-readers have been requesting an option for ongoing subscriptions as well as the usual six and 12 week issue blocks. Oh, six and 12 issue blocks. We finally got this implemented. It's now easy to spread the cost of subscribing and not have to worry about forgetting to renew. Introducing the Amiga Addict ongoing subscription plan. If you already subscribe or have ordered the latest issue, please use this facility at renewal time if preferred. Okay, so wait until it's time to renew. Cheers and we hope it helps some of you. That is awesome. Snowdog with the resub. Snowdog, not just a subscriber for 74 freaking months here. He's also an Amigaville VIP. 
What is up, Snow Dog? So great to see you, my main man. What is that TikTok video? I don't, I don't have a TikTok. Amiga Act is awesome. So, let's see. Here's the link if you want to do your uh, resubs. D Mackey, I just renewed mine too, but you know, next time around, you can use this link right there. Ongoing subscription plan from issue 28. So, you know, D Mackey, next year at this time, we'll take advantage of it. Yo, what's up, Cybernide? Great to see you, Cybernide. Oh, is someone showing the play date? Let's check it out. I'm not on this. Oh, I. I don't know. I, I don't know if I can do it. I'm not. On, I'm not on the TikTok. I'm not on the talk. I'm not on the talk. I don't. I, thanks. Thanks for trying. I appreciate it. But I'm not on the talk, so it makes it difficult. I'm glad you're here, Cybernai. Great to see you, man. Yeah, it's a good one. It's right, a good one, right? All right, so let's just do a little recap of the Amiga news. Oh, wait, the, yeah, the last thing is another, you know, a reminder. We had this last week, too. Uh, Taylor's Tater Terror has got a GoFundMe. You know, there's Taylor down there on my on the lower left of your screen. Taylor was a great friend of the stream. He was half of Pints and Amiga. They stream Amiga stuff every Saturday here on Twitch. Father-son team. Taylor is the son of Jack Calk, and Jack is organizing his fundraiser, trying to make a game in Taylor's honor. He tragically passed away January 30th, 2023 from an unknown blood, blood clotting disorder. And now a band of Amiga computer enthusiasts would like to make a video game in his honor and release it for the public domain. Taylor was a massive Amiga computer fan and collector with his dad and did a weekly Twitch stream called Pints and Amiga. With your donations, we can compensate game coders, graphic artists, and music composers with some compensation for their time. The story of the game uh, will be like this. <laughs> uh, Taylor was working on his Amiga and enjoying a beer. He accidentally spills the beer on the Amiga he was fixing, leading to an electric shock that somehow caused him to enter the motherboard. Now he must repair the device from within to escape and join his father in the studio by 2 p.m. for the Pints and Amiga Twitch stream. If you want to uh, donate, donate to Taylor Taylor's Tater Game. Taylor's Tater Terror Game. Here's the link. Boom. Support Jack and his team. They're great. They're great guys. Exactly. R.I.P. Taylor, Texas Foosballer, you know it. I don't have TikTok. I'm not on the talk, Chris, though. So just a little recap of all the... That's the Amiga Bell news section uh, for March 24th, 2024. Woo! We got VCF East April 12th, 13th, and 14th. Vigilante is coming soon to an Amiga near you via Nesso Games. Jet Hunters demo is now available. It's a work in progress. Step 5 is a brand new Amiga game that is complete and now available. It's a Tetris-like game. Rogue Declan and Physical Editions are being shipped out next week. Our Squadron is another whip. Getting done using the suck engine. Just today, Bunny's Boing Ball Bounty was released by Rob Smith Dev. It's an Easter game. We're about to play that next. Amigo Tracker is now available for the Playdate Portable. It's that, that's cool. It's like a little portable handheld Game Boy-esque device. And now you can play Amiga Trackers on it. And Amiga Addict now offers ongoing subscriptions. Here's the link. And don't forget, if you want to donate to Taylor's Tater Terror, go fund me. A game in honor of Taylor Cock. Woo! 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 There's the news. If you notice, also over on, on the Amiga Build YouTube channel, I'm uh, I'm releasing just the news section. I probably should button it up a little bit tighter. <laughs> I should button it up a little tighter, but I'm releasing just the Amiga news section over there. You rock, R Rob Smith. Rob Smith, I'm gonna take a bio break and we're gonna play the bunny game. I got it all queued up and ready to go. Oh wait, what I what I missed here while while I take my bio link, we can look at this. What do you got here, Proton Fig? Nine hours. I Proton just sent me a nine hour a nine hour clip. <laughs> Woo! This stream's gonna be easy for me. 
Oh, this is oh, this is a little preview of your demo. Nice proton. That looks sick. That looks sick. I'll rewind to you a little bit there. Boom. Oh wow. Proton's programming some stuff. There it is. All right, folks, this is a little pre sneak peek of the finished gold demo. I'm going to go take a quick bio break, grab myself a beer, and we're going to play Rob Smith's bunny boing ball game next. I'll be back in two shakes of a bunny's tail. Woo! Yo, DJ Hoffman in the house. What is up, Hoff? Hoff, are you going to... I imagine you're going to revision. I imagine. Yo, yo, uh, Proton, this looks dope, dude. I see the revision logo. Yeah, you're coding for revision? Nice, Hoff. Good luck, my man. I'll be rooting for you. I know whatever, I know whatever you come up with is going to be boss. You know what I mean? Yo, here's, uh, here's to... Yeah, I am live. I, I do follow. Here's to uh, everyone who comes here every Sunday fun day and checks in. Here's to all the awesome demo seniors like the Proton Fig and the DJ Hoffman and just everyone who comes here and hangs out every Sunday. I appreciate you all so much for cracking it open. Proton Guru, that's a proper demo right there, Proton. That is a proper demo. That calls for an IPA. That calls for an IPA right there. Oh, is that, did it actually guru Proton or is that part of the demo? Because I approve, I approve of that. I approve of that guru. I approve of that guru. I'm going to go back and watch the whole thing, Proton. Anyway. Anyway. Cheers, everyone. Thank you all so much for hanging out today. Uh, like I always say, the most valuable thing any of us have is our time. And the fact that you all come here every Sunday and hang out with me, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Cheers. Look at this floating bowling balls. So we're about to play a game with a bowling ball in it by Rob Smith. Bowling balls and bunnies. <laughs> Happy pre-Easter, everyone. Mmm. Arcade Ages. Oh. Upshift, Greg, Rob Smith, D. Mackie, 3D Code Warrior, Carlos Jackal, Ami Maddie, Arcade Ages, Proton Fig, Quantic, DJC Animation, Sep Lemon Amiga, Voxel Trot, Spectre Frunk. Sir Garbage Truck, DJ Hoffman, Cybernide 64. I'm I'm drinking out of my Wolf and Warrior, my Wolf and Warrior mug. Can I go to my VHS cam here? Where's the VHS? My my Wolf and Warrior mug. Oh yeah. The official brewery of Westchester Amiga user group. Mr. Utter, what's going on? Kippus Ariuri. Retro gaming music, what's up? Smash 1980. Look at that glass. <laughs> 
Oh, man. All right, let's reboot here. Proton, your demo is looking sweet. I obviously, I, you know, I stepped away to take the vial break, but the little bit that I saw looked dope, man. I can't, I can't wait to see the whole thing. Oh, so wait, while I got y'all here, I'm not sure what to do next week. I'm not sure what to do because Sunday is a really intense day for me next week. I have, it's Easter Sunday, obviously. I'm going out to brunch with my family and then I, I have to catch a flight. <laughs> So I think I'll have like a 30 minute window between brunch and my flight when I could potentially do like a very short stream or we could just stream on Saturday and do like an Amiga demo scene watch party. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Of. I'm thinking of it's a nice mug. Oh, Rom, it's a nice one. What should I do? Should I do a Saturday? Should I do a Saturday? Sir Garbage Truck, do a Saturday. Smart Saturday is a smart move. A watch party. What time are the Amiga demos on Saturday? I should do Saturday because sun Sunday is gonna be tough for me because, like I said, I got Easter Easter brunch with the family and then I have to catch a flight to St. Louis. So I I'm pretty stressed. So I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Saturday night is Amiga intro, so maybe we'll do a watch party for Amiga intro. Um, Nam Ultikasking SC. Thank you so much for the follow, Nam. I appreciate that very, very much. Welcome to the stream. Saturday. I know, I know. Uh, I, I mean, I'm going to be watching anyway. So it might just be a chill and catch the rest after your flight. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. We'll send greets and so on. Oh, thanks for Garbage Truck. I appreciate that. Is When's the Amiga demo, actual demo party, uh, demo compo? Is it on Sunday? You'll be doing Saturday, Friday. Thanks for the, let's see, desktop. Where are we here? Desktop. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch -ch Saturday. Amiga intro. Oh, wow. It's late. 7 p.m. Okay. that's Oh, that's my normal stream time. I think it's around 7. But the clocks change again, but not until Sunday. So we'll watch the Amiga intros together. That would be rad. And then I'm guessing... Oh, look at Hoffman and Tio's got they have a concert. That's awesome. Old school demo. Oh man, there's too much good stuff. When Amiga demo is gonna happen at six PM on Sunday. Oh, I'll probably six. Oh, I could potentially There's a a chance I could it, the Oh that's the deadline. Sorry, that's the deadline. Uh when is the Amiga compo? Amiga demo. Where's the Amiga demo actual competition? That's the deadline for it, but where's... Oh, inverse phase. Nice. My main man, inverse phase. I can't wait to see his... That's cool. Good go, inverse phase. Where is Amiga demo? If that's the... Um, oh, Amiga demo deadline. Or is that just... Is that the actual Amiga demo? I, is that the deadline for a submission? Do is good for you, Amigaville. Oh, thanks, Carlos. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Retro Gaming Music, you're doing a live gig on Syntax Society Easter Party next Friday. Ooh, I know. I haven't seen that Retro Gaming Music. Very, very cool. Twenty three on Saturday. The time change is tricky, right? But I'm looking at the compo, compo. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh, Amiga demo, 1600 hours on Sunday. Oh man, okay. All right, well, you know what? We'll see. I gotta figure out what time that is in New York because of all these times are changing all the time. Maybe I'll we'll watch the Amiga demos together. I don't know. Or I might I might actually be on a plane at that point. <laughs> Saturday. It says Sunday right here. Sunday. Sunday Amiga demo at 1600 hours. Oh, you think that's the my local time? Oh, oh, because you guarantee the Mekon was not four p.m. German time. Interesting. All right, well we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. 
That makes sense. I, I see. That might that might be my local time. That makes sense. Got it. We'll figure it out next week. Stay tuned. Do exclamation mark social in the chat, and I'll be, I'll post up whenever my stream is going to be, whether it's Saturday or Sunday. Most likely it'll be Saturday, just because Sunday fun day is going to be Sunday hectic day. I mean, how fun! I'm gonna I'm gonna be sipping some mimosas at Easter brunch. It's gonna be great. What's up, Delta Wave? I'll have mimosas, and then I'll have. Uh, I'll do some kind of awesome drink for my flight to St. Louis. Let's put this down here. No more Moscow Mule. We're going to pop in the SD card. We're going to reboot. Yo, Sir Garbage Truck and Proton Fig and Hoffman and all, all you demo seniors out there. Have a great revision. Have a great revision. Oh, Terminal Crotch Rod. I will take a look after, after we play this game. Thanks. For, can, you, can you drop the link again in a little while? Making a demo for the Amiga 500. Oh, that's the Boeing Ball demo. We'll take a look in a second. Well, well, I'll tell you what. We'll check out your your demo after we do this this game here. This is uh, this is a, a brand new game that just dropped today from Rob Smith, dev creator of the floating Boeing Ball himself. There's nothing. There's nothing like bunnies and monster woodies. I'm just saying. Yo, Seth. Thanks for hanging out, dude. I appreciate you so much, Seth. Thank you. Thanks for all your generosity, Seth. You're amazing. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, Seth. Seriously, dude. Thank you. Bunny's Boing Ball Bounty, Speedrun Challenge, collect all eggs as fast as possible, avoid the bombs. See, so, you know, I love games that are simple. Get the energy drinks, collect the balls, and avoid the bombs. Retro gaming is like, I'll take it. Can you send it to me after a game? I'll play a little game. I'll do a little gaming, and then uh, I'll definitely check it out. So, but I don't. It's hard for me to go back in the chat. So send it again in a little while if you don't mind. Same to you, Proton Fig. Entering level one. Whoa. Oh, so you rotate the whole ball. Got it. Whoa. Oh, I'm getting it. I'm getting the hang of it. Energy. <laughs> I was getting the hang of it, and then I got a bomb. <laughs> Rob, I was getting the hang of it. Yo, night shift with the resub. Boing, night shift. Thank you so much for your generosity. I uh, appreciate it. Sigurd Warren shared 69 bits. I died. I totally died. I just, I got the hang of it. I'm so I'm so good. I just I got the bomb. <laughs> Boom! Texas foosballer's right. Boom! Oh, I missed it. I see energy over here. Let's get some energy drinks. Eggs. I see. Let's get that energy drink over here. Oh, whoa! It goes faster. No, not the bomb. Oh, wow. It's one of your famous favorite bonus stages from Sonic 2. Oh, my God. Whew. Let's try it again. This is super intense. Yo, Terminal, I mean, Virgil is really good. Virgil's a great musician. There's the behind the scenes video. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. On Rob's uh, YouTube, YouTube Euler. Oh, I see. I saw the bomb. I saw the bomb, but I, I didn't hit left fast enough. Oh, my God. This game is very difficult, folks. <laughs> it's really good, though. I love the perspective, how you move the bowling ball. What? Why do I keep finding that bomb? Yo, I would be a good bomb-sniffing dog. The game is best played with the keyboard. I know, I know, Severin, I'm thinking the same thing, that, that the, the energy drink might make it too fast. 
Jaw off, I can't. I'm just. You know why I'm drawn to the bombs? Because I boom. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Stay away from that bomb. I see stuff over here. More bombs. More. Oh, I see your bombs. There we go. I see some stuff over here. Let's go get them. Boom. Woo. Level one complete. Give me those Cadbury cream eggs, Rob Smith. I want some cream eggs. Oh, we styling now. Look out, energy drink, look out. No, no, not the bomb. Woo! All right, it's official. No! It's, I, I, it's official, I love this game. I love it. It's so good. Hold on. I need to take a picture here. Let's get my code in there. I love it. Woo. I know the Reese's eggs are so good, Greg. Oh, man. My, my, uh, my, my chat is all messed up. Follow me, Bill's channel. It wants me to follow myself. I don't even know what's going on. Whew. You have to plan when to take a drink, and when you're taking the bunny, there's no. Yeah, there's more to it than me. See. I know it is. It is. It's true. It's, it's difficult. Let's try it again. Silly wabbit. Blowing balls are for Amiga users. <laughs> hey, oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't keep up on the chat. If I miss anyone's message, I'm sorry. Oh, Ram, are you able to make it to BCF East? No, no. Yes, oh Ram, I'm so psyched. All right, here we go. Focus, focus. This game is no yoke. I tell you, when you when you drink that energy booster and you start going fast, it's no yoke. These bombs, it's tricky. It's tricky. I, I'm really good at finding the bombs. Uh, yo, it's voxel. It's gonna be great. BTF is gonna be so good. I'm wondering if I should bother with with the energy drink because it makes it way more difficult. See, I was just trying to avoid. I was just trying to avoid. That uh, that bomb. I knew it was there. You probably need the energy drink. To oh, here we go. I see eggs and bombs. Boom. It, it, it it's so weird. Like it, it's way harder than it looks. It looks like it should be easy to avoid the bombs. It's not. Yeah, the energy drink makes it so much more difficult. See, I missed one back there. Whoa. Yes. I know there's some eggies back here I missed. There's one. I see one over here. Woo! Woo! Wait, what's red? Freaking Rob, Rob, I am addicted to, I'm addicted. <laughs> I'm addicted. This would have been a good bonus level for Sonic. Oh, I know. What's up, Peter? Oh, uh, we're on a boing ball. 
Red is bomb. Yeah, red, red is bomb. Red is bomb, and red is also part of the boing ball. It's part of the, the boing ball DNA. I'm addicted to eggs. I love the, the, the crunching sound, the eating sound. Yeah, there's that guy. So we gotta come back over here. Where are the eggs, guys? There we go. Woo! Rob's new game breeds like rabbits. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Uh, you gotta come in on the edge. You gotta come in on the edge of the egg. I like to start in the perimeter. That freaking energy drink got me scared. I'm not gonna lie. See? It's a very sweet Easter game. It's really good, Jiro. It's really good. Rob Smith comes correct again. Rob Smith. No. That's where I died last time. It's like it's like a whole thing. It's like a, it's a whole wall of bombs. Rob Smith comes correct again. One more time. I got <laughs> freaking. Oh, Rob. Rob, you got me addicted. Rob, damn it, Rob. You made a good game. You made a good game. I want to keep playing, Rob. Oh, is 8mm cam still frozen? I'm just so happy I had my pants on when it took my... Because I, I do get dressed in this room, you know? It's like, it could have caught me at a bad moment. Is 8mm cam alive? No! Oh, man. Is it alive? No, it, it's still dead. 8mm cam still dead. No, you don't want to see it. No. <laughs> Terminal Crotrot is asking if it's based on a game or if it's totally original. I lost a move there. No. All right, let's do it. Crazy kids. I must be going back. I don't want to go back. There we go. You know, you can also play this game with a beer in one hand. Great. I, I have the sudden urge for a breakfast burrito. I love me a good breakfast burrito. Ah. Totally, I totally messed that up. I free. Okay, if you hold it down. You can keep turning. Okay, got it. Got it. Hold it down. Keep turning. I like it. I totally want some chocolate now. Pro tip, don't collect the bombs. Okay. No, it's so fast. Too fast. It's too fast. See, there's like a wall of bombs. No! Where are the eggs? What's that? Oh, I see eggs over here. The wall of bombs is no freaking joke, folks.
No! Woo! Level four, let's freaking go. We survived the wall of bombs. Look at all those bombs over there. Let's, let's do it. Go around. I saw, I think there's some uh, Easter eggs back here. I thought there were. How do I get over there? Oh, I see. It's a wall of bombs. Oh, wait a minute. It's a ball. It's a boing ball. We can go around the world. We can go around the world. It's a boing ball 360 degrees, baby. Woo! I figured you out, Rob Smith. The, the boing ball is not flat. The world is not flat, Rob Smith. We don't, you don't fall off the edge of a boing ball, folks. You don't fall off the edge of a boing ball. I'm just saying. Oh, baby, let's go. Flat boing ball, flat, flat boing ballers were just proven wrong right there, right there. You proved them wrong right there, Rob. Flat boing ball, uh-oh, uh-oh, it's getting, I'm getting nervous. No, stop, what, just stop overcompensating. Flat boing ballers just proven wrong by Rob Smith Dev. Boom. Woo. That was a bad path I took right there. All right, Rob, where are we going now? Around the world, baby. I've been around the world and I, 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 I can't find my baby. Oh, all right. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's that's a good play right there. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see where where I rank right now. Let's see where I rank. Uh, how do I do this? I go to bb bb dot rob smith dev. Oh, let's try it. Bb bb r o b s m i t h dev dot c o dot u k submit speed run code mama mia eight h is the caps sensitive eight p twenty five what oh no cancel I don't want to print 8H, 8H, 8, 8, 8, P25, P25, CJ, RQ, SZ. And then my initials are, I usually do ABL for me, but let's see where I'm at. Let's see where I'm at here. I think of AI as a fellow game developer helps you make games. Yeah, Mia Cam, you rule. Where, where am I? Oh, third place, baby! Third place! Woo! I'll take that. I'm on the podium. We're on the podium. Sir Garbage Truck, thank you for hanging out, man. It's a pleasure to have you here. Same with you, Rob Smith. Third place, getting around five. Nice. Nice. Gemini Knight, that's how we do it. Yo, Trap Shot Live is here. What's up, Trap Shot? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, wait. In the backlog? Did I did I miss something? Oh, did I, I, was too, I was too busy running around on bowling balls. What, what did I miss, sir? Garbage truck. Um, I, I'm psyched. I need to uh, check it out. In, in the latest issue of Zap Magazine, I haven't gotten in the mail yet, but I do an homage to Art State Digital. I'm good, Trap Shot. Thank you. I hope you're doing great. Oh, you thought there were skip level codes. Got it. Got it. Retro Gaming Music dropped something for us. We dropped. <laughs> Eight 
It's really good, dude. I love it, retro gaming music. It's really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No worries, garbage truck. Oh, yo, that was great. I love it. Wait, so you're on Twitch. I guess we just drop a link to your Twitch channel. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, you know, following. It's awesome, dude. Oh, look at that. Look at this guy. He's awesome. <laughs> look, I love it. It's, oh, dude, that was so good. And I, it was, you know what I really love too? I saw some, like, some friends there, like Bitstorm, Retro Demo Scene, Janiac. Uh, they're all, they all come here and hang out too. I love it. I think Aaron comes. I don't remember. 
Um, uh, As Talk Dog was there. Amiga Live. Oh, it's it's great stuff. Oh, that's great stuff. Was Terminal ha was Terminal have here? Oh, it's the link to that other game. Oh wait, is this an Amiga game? I don't think so. This is one that you you think should get ported to Amiga. It looks cool. <laughs> I, can I, I want, I'm trying to follow you by hovering over you. Oh, it's so annoying. There he is. There he is. It was like a cool game. I want on the Amiga. I want on the Amiga. Oh, there's Janiac. Janiac, thank you for gifting a sub to Retro Gaming Music. Very cool. That, hey, that, I'm, I'm down, man. I would totally, I would totally, uh, uh, that'd be awesome. I agree. I agree, Terminal. That would be a great one. All right, we are going to, we're going to play, uh, I have another ADF here of uh, one of the other new games that's coming out. I feel like Proton had another link for me too. I can't remember. Um, games. Oh, R Squadron Two. Yep. Okay. We got wait, is Jet Hunters. Jet Hunters preview. Uh, let's do Jet Hunters first. Copy. Uh, where's my I drive? My K drive. Rob, that game is is freaking awesome. By the way, Rob Smith. I love that game. It's so much fun. I I love the control. The way you uh, rotate on the ball. Jet Hunters preview. Let's go here, and I'll go back to the goodie bag. Back to the bag, and Jet Hunters is here. An Amiga preview of a new arcade shoot 'em up by Coagulus. Jet Hunters. Boom! Here's the Indie Retro News article. Copy paste it for you all. Copy paste, and let's pop it in. By the way, I think I I quit Team Eject. <laughs> I left the team. I'm just team yank it out now. <laughs> I'm not much. What's up, not much? Great to see you, my man. I, I quit team eject. I'm now on just team yank that shit out. <laughs> oh, man. What's up, Ralph? Not much. Great. Not much. Are you going to make it to VCF East? I hope so. The whole Wog posse is going to be there. Oh, and that might, I'll have Wog stickers by then, too. I am uh, remastering the Wog logo for 61 megapixels. Oh, here we go. Big Boing Balls. You just missed a Boing Ball game. Wait a minute. What's going on? This is not the music from the game. What's this? What's going on? What happened? What's wait wait? What's going on? What's this? Where, where's that music coming from? Okay, here we go. I thought that was from the game. That was you. It was you retro gaming music. That was funny. I couldn't figure out where it's coming from. Big blind balls. I hope you're feeling. I hope you're feeling great, dude. Don't forget, folks, Big Boy Balls is looking for uh, some coding help. After completing the Jet Hunt arcade machine, Jake Ammo reappeared suddenly in a totally different location. He was not on Earth anymore. He could see the stars flickering outside the window of the spaceship. He was on a spaceship. He then remembered the message shown on the arcade machine, saying he was what was needed. A being appeared in front of him holding a spacesuit, a jetpack, and a gun. Woo! Jet Hunt 2, Jet Hunters, I love it. Jet Hunt Elite Recon Squad. One level preview version, released in 2024 by Coagula Software. Bits Basic, Pro Tracker, D Paint 4, P Paint 5, uh, Anim Animator, GIMP, and PHX Player. Woo! Coagulus is Rob Hewitt. Coding music and additional, he also did coding music and additional graphics. 
Thermite, Jason Witz did the in-game graphics, in-game music. Nice, nice. Now Terminal, we're doing, we're, we're checking out all the new Amiga games. There's a lot of new ones that came out. Uh, and we're, we're gonna play Wolf Child, because Wolf Child is on the cover of Amiga Act Magazine. Wolf Child and uh, Populous, because it's, it's uh, currently the competition, the EAB Lemon Amiga competition. The opening's really cool. Oh, neat. I like, there's like a web that you have to go through. Make our way through the web. Press fire to play this world and then prepare for battle. Well, there's only, I think it's a one world demo. You prefer civilization, but Populous was the OG. And it's the one that, that uh, they're playing in the competition this month. I never played Civilization, but I know some people who absolutely love that game. I played Power Monger more. You like Wonkiest Donkey, you love both? Yo, the real Tony Rocks. I'll see you soon, my man. I can't wait. No problem. No problem, Wonkiest Donkey. Lurk away. I don't know if you can touch the environment. I'm a little bit afraid. Ah. Oh. I, I, it's a fun game. I'm, I'm having a blast with it. I love it. Blitz Basic. Wow. Good game. Good game. Oh, I'm screwed. Hey, no problem, Janiac. See, that made my choice easy. I didn't know if I should go up or down, I'm going up. Because the enemies were down there, so. Go where the enemies aren't, pro tip. Crap, he made that move. I was gonna sneak through that little opening and he made that move and just totally boned me. I don't know how to defend against that. When they just have a wall, once they make that wall, oh man. Woo. It's an odd game. Yo, Rakaz, Rakaz246, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I'm Amiga Bell. I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch almost every Sunday. We call it the Sunday Fun Day. Today we're playing new Amiga games and two classics, Wolf's Child and Populous. It is a wild star field. This is a whip called Jet Hunters. Work in progress. I'm going to try it one more time. I enjoyed it. One more run. We'll do one more run. And then we've got, uh, we played Rob's uh, Bowling Ball Bunny game, which was super awesome. <laughs> Waterfall, Starfield. It's the universe crying. What's up, Mitsaluga? Good to see you. 
you dropped some new tunes in my Discord, if I'm not mistaken. I love that Janiac, Janiac comes out of the stream cleaner than they went into the stream. I love that. If you watch my stream and you and you leave the stream cleaner than where you began, that's a successful stream. What's up, Alex? Good to see you. Miss Lou. Uh, I just missed all those. I know Amiga Cameo like splits basic. This game plays well. The music is good, yeah. I don't know that one, Granush. Cars and cables? I don't I don't remember that one. It looks like the extra life is working. That thing's hard to get. Again, this is just a whip. But a fun one. I love this so much. Ah, that stupid wall. I don't know how to beat that wall. I need. I don't know how to beat the wall. I like how his legs work. It's cool. Wire shark? You mean to hold him up with legs flopping like that? I, Daedalus, I do enjoy a good whip. Ah. Ah. Woo! It, that's kind of a cool mechanic. How like when you shoot them, they don't die, they just keep turning until eventually they die. I like that mechanic. Data, that pole, that pole isn't the only tool I got down in that basement. I'm just saying. If you missed that part of the stream, me and uh, Voxel Trots are gonna have 18 feet of Amiga goodness and a pole. You know, we got we gotta make a little loot somehow. Whoa, um, that's it. Nice. Oh, Power Shark. I didn't know what you meant. Uh, what about the Power Shark? It, 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 I think my Solus board is too powerful for the shark. Yeah, it is cool to see it's written in Blitz, right, Graham? Great to see you, dude. Have the wonkiest donkey. Thanks for chilling. Brag Lord, I'm gonna play uh, Wolf Child soon. But like I said, Daedalus in the Discord, if it comes down to the shark or or the Solus, that shark is getting tossed in the ocean. No, I'm just joking. I no, it's not. Well, I mean, Chris, the shark the shark worked well on my Amiga 500. Uh, it does not work well on this Amiga 1200. I gotta give it another try. I think the I think the solar spore is too powerful for the shark. The solar spore is like a great white. It just consume it just eats that shark up. Yo, Captain is on the bridge with both Amiga Sons. What is up, Captain and Amiga Sons? Either that, yo, or that Chris, or I need I need a power supply. Like I need like the power supply for my uh, M18. <laughs> I need like a massive power supply. My 65 watt power supply is only 32 watts into 12 volts, I guess. But it was one of the recommended ones. But it, it does work with some Amigas. It's not mine. Captain and Amiga Sons, we're playing a game called Jet Hunters. It's a work in progress whip. You, 
Rob Smith's, we also played Rob Smith's amazing new Amiga game. Bowling Ball Bunny's Revenge. Oh, man. It was so good. We came in third place. In the world. Not a bad place to be. Yeah, Alex, this is, this is, uh, someone is, is giving it this game a try. I don't know if they're coding for the first time or not, but this is a, a work in progress. Ah, uh, I, I, I see. You might be right, Daedalus. I mean, the Power Shark is rad, but I mean, I'm just a unique case scenario. And it worked great on my Amiga 500. Although I didn't like have it run that long, but it worked great on my my 500. Is, the only expansion in my 500 is the 512K RAM, and it should be able to handle that. Come on now, one megabyte Amiga 500 OCS. That's a sweet spot. That it's so, that spot is so sweet, sweet like honey. You know what I'm saying? That is a sweet spot right there. That shark better be able to do that. That's Amiga perfection right there. One megabyte, Amiga 500, you know what I mean? Oh, I got robbed. Amiga Cammy throwing down Amiga Love. Amiga Cammy loves the uh, one megabyte, Amiga 500. OCS for the win. CRTs. I like this game. I, I dig it. I know it's just a whip. But I'm having fun with it. Alex, the Amiga scene is going really strong. Like every week, there's like a new Amiga game to play. It seems like uh, this week we're playing three new Amiga games. We freed the world, folks. We freed the world. Woo! Reboot. I, I think that's it. It's just a whip. Yeah, Alex, I believe last year, if you include all the games like PD and all them, it was close to 60 games came out last year. Yeah, Nagram, that's a very, I really like that game a lot, Nagram. Uh, now, here's another new one. Now, this one's not a whip. This one is a finished product. Uh, it's the Roscoe, I, have to, I think it's Roscoe, I have to check his name. It's his first Amiga game, and his first completed Amiga game, his first Amiga game, and his first completed Amiga game. Uh, it is, let's see, let's go, let's go back to the goodie bag. Uh, let's go back to my desktop. Don't forget, folks, everyone who uh, is an Amiga Bell patron gets the goodie bag. Where am I here? Uh, that was Jet Hunters by Coagulus. Totally rad. Let's go back to the goodie bag. Uh, this is a oh, Rico 59, not Roscoe. Step 5 by Rico 59. Step 5 is a Tetris like game. Um, oh no, not another Tetris game, but the satisfaction is there. We've actually made and finished this game. That, that makes us very happy. The difference lies in the falling figures. Each one's made up of five small cubes. Uh, pentamones forming the figure, increasing the number of figures compared with Tetris that fall. So it's up to you to make as many lines as possible with pieces that are more twisted than the last. There's Rico. Captain John Archer with the resub. Thank you, Captain John. Captain John's also over there on the Patreon getting his goodie bags. Woo! Wait, what makes you happy? Alex, what makes you happy? That there's so many new me games? Sorry if I missed the chat there. All right, let's check it out. Oh, you're welcome. Captain John, now that I, I don't do the video anymore, I can like release the goodie bags right away, essentially. I think it's a, I think it's better. Like, just get those bags out. It's like you go to a birthday party and you go home with the goodie bag. That's the way I really want it. I am Captain John. I'm giving a talk at a school tomorrow, talking about cinematography. And then tomorrow night, I'm going to go see Sammy Halby, my friend Sammy Halby. She and her friend Kevin are doing a live performance, live coding performance. Sammy's going to be coding live, and Kevin's going to be playing music along with it. It's going to be uh, super, super rad. I can't wait. And then I'm doing another talk at a school on Wednesday. And then next weekend is Easter and all that stuff. Crazy, craziness. 
the amount of releases. Oh, that's what I thought, Alex. That's what I thought. Oh, oh wait, oh yeah, Proton Fig. Just Proton. I'll, I'll, I'll go back and check that out for sure. All right, hold on. Boom. Where, where am I here? Boom. Hold. I missed. I missed the opening. I feel bad. I want. I want to start it again. I. I I, ro I robbed you guys of the opening. This is this guy's first game. I want to make sure you guys see the opening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm talking at Westchester Community College in Amigadaz Old Class, and I'm also talking at Quinnipiac College. All right. No, so now that we have a break here, we can look and see what Proton Fig sent. Sorry, I had the, the volume turned like all the way up. Proton, I, I need you to send me these demos. I can't wait. I see you were just programming it 19 hours ago, so I don't expect you to send me that one. That was super dope, dude. No wandering robot, warlock, maybe. Nice balls, Proton. Proton, thanks for sending it along. That looks dope, dude. It looks really dope. I can't wait to play it on my real 500. The problem is my my 500, the one that's not broken, is NTSC. So it's hard for me to uh, play the demos because they're all pow. All right, step five, take two. Today is the day of step twos. Yo, Holy88, thank you so much for the follow. It's a pleasure to have you here. Welcome to the stream. I'm Amiga Bill. I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch almost every Sunday. We call it the Sunday Fun Day. Right now, we're about to play a brand new Amiga game called Step 5. It's a Tetris It's a Tetris game, but it's uh, the gentleman's first game that he ever made for the Amiga, so it's pretty cool. And he's just psyched that he uh, finished it. All right, I don't know how to play it. Step 5. Dark game. Oh, no worries, Retro Game Planet. No worries at all. The bunny game rules. Rob Smith is the best. Hey, this game is pretty neat, guys. I know it's another Tetris game, but still, it's pretty neat. But thanks for hanging out, Retro Game Planet. Awesome music.
I really like the music. turn it oh you can't turn them anymore what the heck was going on there that's what I was trying to do before Totally blew that. Oh, man, blew it. No, I'm gonna blow it again. I stink at this game. But I like the music, so that's all that matters. Oh, help. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this. this this is cool. Watch this. Wait a minute. I thought I was supposed to zap all that. I saw him zap it in the preview. I thought the health was supposed to zap the line. I guess not. I gotta read the manual. I blew it again. Ah, oh, it's too big. Of course, it's that way. I couldn't use that help. Cool. Yeah, the music is really nice, guys. It really is. Tony Rebellion is weird to know AGA never had the popularity of OCS machines and games. When... Is that Amiga 1? Uh... Why is it Q?
Why is AQ? What the heck? That's bizarre. The keys don't match up. It's a really nice one. With that extra piece, it feels like learning Tetris from scratch. Yeah, it is. I'm totally right, Iraq. I dig it. All right, here's the link, folks, if you guys want to pick that game up. Uh, that is Step 5. Here's the link. Step 5 by Rico59. Oh, I figured it, it was... Okay, got it. On French keyboards, the A's in the Q spot. That makes sense. Got it. Yo, Proton Fig, no worries. Uh, thanks for the poll. That was a lot of fun. I can't wait to see your demo next week. Good luck on it. If I could vote, I'd be voting for you. You rule, dude. Enjoy, and good luck with the demo, man. That's just awesome. Oh, wait. You're going to go under the knife on Tuesday morning? Yo, Proton Fig, I don't know what's going on, but uh, I'm wishing you... I mean, most importantly, I'm wishing you good luck on Tuesday. That That's crazy uh yeah all all about i'll be thinking about you on tuesday proton i'll be thinking about you my main man good luck tuesday with your uh, medical procedure oh man i'm sorry dude good good luck with it we'll send the positive vibes to you and you'll be rocking it out at revision it should be going to tetris plus one totally tetris plus plus that's that's a good point what's up next Ah, Tetris aim comes from Tetra meaning four. The music does sound broken, DJ Bass, in this part. It does. I, I agree. Alright, uh, we have one more new game, then we play the classics. This one will be quick. This is R Squadron by Monster's Legs. I think it's a I think it's an ADF. Yeah, good luck to Proton Fig, Mitsulu, have a great night. We'll be thinking about you, Proton Fig. I I don't know that one terminal. Do you guys see the Tetris movie? It's really good. The Tetris movie is real good. After this, I'm gonna need another beer. This one is a, is a very much a whip, so this will be a, a quick demo, and then we'll get into some Wolf Child. I like that logo. That's cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, Negram, I, I definitely want to take a look. As soon as I play this game, after I do this game, we'll take a look at the photos, then we'll do some Wolf Child. Oh! <laughs> Thanks for po posting the, the photos, Nagram. I'm psyched you guys got such a good turnout. I mean, that's that's good for... Uh, oh, you have a Saturday night? Cool. Uh, Revenge of the 2K Arcade Games. Conceived, designed, created by Kevin McGordy. Beta tested by Thomas Stringling. Uh, Nut Mutt with the resub. Nut Mutt, thank you so much, dude. Nut Mutt is not just uh, my friend here on Twitch, also a friend, IRL, member of the Westchester Amiga user group. Now, I don't understand why you can't kill these things. 
I would, I would like it all, a lot better if you could kill those things. The, the sound effects are hilarious. Oh, you can kill them. They take a lot of hits. Okay. Can I sneak through? I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. This game was made in suck. <laughs> Shoot him up construction kit. Conjure, thank you for gifting a sub to Nag Graham. Conjure, thank you so much. Nag Graham rules. I love that guy. Oh, I can't get over to the right. I can't sh I can't get that. I can't get over that far. How am I supposed to fly through this stuff? This is crazy, Nagram. Crazy, I tell you. Oh, come on now. Oh, I got a little greedy there. Game over. It's difficult to me, Cammy. Nivrig, you're excited because there's finally a retro club starting up near you? Oh, very cool, Nivrig. Star Control. Oh, I need to... Yo, Jedi Matt, I haven't played Star Control in a long time. I still love that game. You know, I mean, for a game made in shooting up construction, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I can't get over there. I can't get to that one. Either. This is really difficult to see. I can't. game was made in suck and I suck. Uh, that's like uh, with that Tim Burton movie, Exterminate. What's that Tim Burton movie? Uh, oh wait, you, oh, I probably gotta shoot through here. It's got cracks. Yep. Oh, Pac-Man time. Oh, this is cool. That's a cool idea, I dig it. I don't think you can kill the Pac-Man. <sighs> Doctor Who? Oh, and I'm thinking of, you know, me, that that is, that's the Dalek, right? But I'm th I was thinking of the, uh, the Tim Burton one. That's impossible. Yeah, Mars Attacks. I'm thinking of Mars Mars Attacks. Ian, the Ian, this is uh it's a it's a it's a whip game called R Squadron. Um I think he started if I'm not mistaken, he started making it in uh in the eighties or nineties. Let's see. He uh where is it? R Squadron. <laughs> R Squadron, a name picked because all squadrons A to Q have been all defeated and totally not for pure light comedy reasons. Somehow arcade games from the 1970s and 80s have come to life and attacked Earth and only you can defeat them. If it sounds like the plot of a dull as pond water movie Pixels, too bad. My game was made in the 90s. <laughs> okay, so it's the plot of Pixels, but he made this in the 90s before uh, Pixels came out. This was the third game I made in the infamous Amiga shoot 'em up engine suck, and it was the only one I saw through to completion. Oh, cool! Learning quite a few tips along the way, mainly asset recycling. I even managed to include 
an end animation of sorts. I made the game as a critique parody on nostalgia being commercialized and weaponized. Pretty, pr uh, pretty present for a 16-year-old in the 90s. I had originally worked on an actual animated intro and deluxe paint that spanned 15 floppy disks. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll put all the scenes together and finish it. It seems like a waste, and it was quite good, if I don't mind saying myself. Anyway, prepare yourself for quite possibly sucks finest hour or not. <laughs> That's great. That's great. I liked Pixels, too. I liked Pixels, too. This guy's description is hilarious. I totally dig it. Thank you all for the hype train. Um, let's reboot. Reboot. Wolf Child's up next. Oh, American Pie. I, I liked. I haven't seen American Pie in a long time, but I, I liked it. I, I liked Pixels too. I got Pixels on Blu-ray. I liked it so much. Uh, I'm gonna turn on some music, and we're gonna look at Nagram's photos when we just find them. Oh, Smash 1980. I don't know if you're still here, but Smash sent me some pictures in a private message that are really cool. I'm not going to show them though unless uh, we have permission. You've got pixels in 3D and watch it on your Quest 2 VR. No way. That's really cool. Have I heard of Thunder Helix? It's a newly released polygon game in the spirit of Amiga, a helicopter sim. Ian, it sounds it sounds familiar. I feel like I may have read something about it along the way, but I don't I don't know it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey yo, check this out right here. It's on Steam early access. It's cool. I love Chip Jungle. Here are some photos from our latest nag meet at, at Albion Games Cafe. We had a fantastic and busy time. With our tense and competitive arcade pool tournament won by Mike and a lot of cool hardware and software being shown off, as well as a lot of people dropping by to play some classic games. Overall, we had 32 people in attendance, a record for a regular nag meet. Thank you all for attending, to those who bought their hardware, and to the cafe for hosting us. See you next month. Nice. That reminds me of, there was a demo. There was like a, an Amiga 500 demo of, uh, of those balls. Oh, he! Oh, John actually rendered, rendered and, and animated that one. Very, very cool. Ami, I need to get. You know what? I should. I should get Ami Kit cooking. Wait, is how is that Ami Kit on an Amiga 500 or is that Ami Kit on the A500 Mini? I'm uh, guessing, it's Ami Kit on the A500 Mini. Tell us, Nagram. Tell us. Cause I don't see, I mean, that's there's something special under the hood there. That looks like a real 500 in the crystal case. Woo. Sexy. Oh, the 500's got a pie storm in it. Interesting. Got it. Very, very cool. I'll have to check that game out, Ian. I want to check it out. Can you drop a link? Oh, we got an Amiga Attic sticker. I dig it. Looks like someone's black Amiga 3000. Is that what that is? Oh, Adam's A500 in a cool black checkmate case. Got it. Thanks for the description. Arcade pool training. Elf Mania. Elf Mania on the, on the Gram 600. Spectrum emulation. Old Amiga format CDs. You know, you know, I'm, you can tell I'm hungry because I saw I saw this, and I thought it was a pizza for a second. Oh, I've got this controller. How do you like it? That is dope. A special nag level for worms created by Gideon. That is 
awesome. That is awesome. I love it. That's interesting. Look at that keyboard. I, I want that keyboard for my CD32. I don't know, Chris. Oh, thanks, Ian. I appreciate it. This looks like a great meet. Oh, look at that! Right on the street. I love it. I love. I love how uh, the Norwich Me used group brings big monitors. That's super rad. Checkmate case. That's a, dude. Those are that's all. <laughs> It's good. I, you know what? I can see those. I can see those amigos without my glasses on. Oh, 32 bits knows that keyboard. That's a nice looking keyboard. Look at that turbo tomato icon. I love it. That's a cool setup you guys got there. Those look at the monitors have handles on them. I'm, I'm very curious about those handles. Oh, they're the cafe screens. You just use them. Okay, because I'm like that's. Those are pretty big to haul around, you know? I want everything terminal, why not? I don't have a keyboard for my 1200. I mean, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll probably, for my CD32, I'm probably gonna get that adapter for the, uh, the Simulant keyboard. Studio 54. <laughs> Studio 54 in Norwich. I like the arcade machine back there. This is a cool location. Chaos Engine AGA. The colors are always weird. I, I, I'm an OCS. I'm an OCS um, chaos kind of guy. You guys have organized your tournament and everything. Super cool. Oh, this looks like a great meet. Oh, check out that little monitor on top. That's cool. What is that? That's neat. That's a cool, that's almost like a portable Amiga. That's super rad. There's that keyboard I want. There's that keyboard I want, Nag. Retro Gaming Day Mark, you miss the parties. I can't wait for our log party. That's a dope track, right? Yeah, Z Wolf is really good. I can't wait. Not much. I was thinking about doing a wog uh, meetup at the brewery this Thursday night, but I don't know if I can swing it just because I have so much crazy stuff coming up. There's Nagram. <laughs> There's my man. Oh, how how do you like the Immortal Joystick with the buttons down there? I, that looks like Eon. Oh, there's a, the immortal man himself. Battle of the beards. Yo, those are serious beards. Those are that's serious beard business right there, folks. That's a good that's a good mouse man right there. Nag Nag is the it's not just an Amiga user group. It's also a beard club. Look at that. We have more awesome beards. The Norwich Amiga Beard User Group. Oh, that's a little sneak peek of what's coming up. It's not populous, but same idea. You guys took a lot of photos. Oh, is that the new Frogger game? That's that whip, right? That's that whip. And we're back. The Norwich Beer and Beard Group. I love it. Speaking of beer. Um, it's time to play Wolf Child. 
but it's story time first. Yeah, Simulant announced an adapter for the USB MIDI keyboard to convert it to Amiga 4000 CD32, etc. That's what I was talking about. That's Alex. That's in uh, England, in the UK. The Nor Norwich, UK. So I was, uh, you know, I got, the, I, this is the latest issue of Amiga Act that I have. And it, it had Wolfchild on it. And I played, the last time I played Wolfchild was like two years ago. And it was never a game I played much back in the day. Um, where's my overhead cam? I'll read the beginning of the article to you guys. I, it's like story time with Amiga Bill. Nah, I like the other, I like the other angle better. I gotta take my glasses off to read though. I'll read the first couple paragraphs. The driving force behind Wolfchild was game designer and artist Simon Phipps. In contrast to the moody atmosphere of this game, Simon's previous core output had tended towards a more light-hearted cartoon style. His game, Rick Dangerous, saw a diminutive Indiana Jones lookalike sprite leaping around perilous jungle locations while his take on Monty Python's Flying Circus brought the surreal hilarity of the TV show to Amiga Monitors. I had no idea. I had no idea. I used to love that Monty Python game. So Simon Phipps, who did Wolf Child, also did Rick Dangerous and Monty Python. Between creating those two games, he started introducing shades of a slightly more serious aesthetic into his work. With Switchblade, a run-and-gun game in which you can see some of the basic foundations of Wolf Child. So what motivated Simon to evolve his art style in a direction with a bit more bite? Wolf's bite. Wolf's bite. Uh, it was a path I really wanted to go down, Simon tells us. Three decades on, my whole career up to that point, I'd been making games with goofy little cartoon characters and doing funny stuff. Artistically, when I made Switchblade, I wanted realistically proportioned cool characters. But I couldn't draw them at the scale that the flick screen game it was to be would hold up on. So I chose to adopt a more chibi style that gave me fat little characters rather than spindly little stick men. <laughs> when I had the idea and the confidence to make a scrolling game with big characters inspired by manga, anime that I'd grown up with like Marine Boy and Battle of the Planets and the amazing artwork for Capcom Coin Ops, I just went for it. Excellent, Simon Phipps. So I didn't know, I didn't know that Simon also did Monty Python and Rick Dangerous and Wolf Child. Did, do you, did you like story time? What year did it come out? It's a good question. Well, you know, let's, let's go to Lemon Amiga. I'll tell you in a second. We'll go to Lemon Amiga. Get your fresh squeezed Amiga goodness at Lemon Amiga. Uh, let's go here. And we go here. See, I go over to the goodie sack. It's always in the sack. Nineteen ninety two. Nineteen ninety two. Wolf Child. Whenever I hear Wolf Child, I think of that song Love Child. Alright, here we go. Oh wait, there was a they had this in the English Amiga Board tournament. I didn't even know that, Oram. Bummer. I would have liked this one. Would be fun to play in the tournament. The Wolf Child, WHE load, installed by Galahad. All right, I'm gonna watch. Let's watch his opening. It's really. It's a really good opening. Manga. Not all walking. Also, Olympic athlete Saul Morrow has refused to comment on the kidnapping of his scientist father, Cal, and the subsequent murder.
that's dope. So your father was kidnapped. He left behind a piece of software and hardware that turns you into a wolf. And now you have to go rescue your dad. I dig it. I totally dig it. I like the story. I like the plot line. Uh, yeah, lots of monitors and no shirt. The Twitch streamer. Me, Cammy, that's hilarious. And yes, some serious Another World vibes. Just like in Another World, we get zapped into another, another location. It, it's definitely, definitely very cool Another World vibes. This game also gives me Altered Beast vibes. It was, it's a great intro. It's a great one, right? And the music's really good, too. Wolf Child game options. Start music. Yeah, I love the music on. Music on all the way. That was a good intro, guys. Really good intro. I was too busy focusing the camera. Here we go. Okay, so you start out with just a fist. And then as you power up, you can turn into the wolf. You know, I, you can see that you're like on the exterior of a ship. And you can like really feel the wind blowing. I, I just did some kind of super. I didn't even know I had a super. Uh, I believe this is OCS. Jiro, I'm ready to howl. I'm ready to howl. The wolf is, is near. Oh! The wolf is in full effect right here. Here we go, Jiro. I love how when you when you uh, kill the enemies, they get caught in the wind and they fly off the ship. That's cool. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah, it's it's super windy. <laughs> but our wolf, our wolf can handle the wind. Oh crap. All right. Sorry folks, I'm playing terribly. Crap, I'm back to this guy. Does that fire hurt me? No, okay. I remember in the interview in Amiga Act Magazine, Simon said he wants you to keep the wolf as long as possible. There we go, we're the wolf. Shh. No, we're not the wolf anymore. I had one health bar left. I was, I was able to get that thing. That was crazy. That's th come on, give me some health, baby. I needed I needed some health from that orb. Oh no, that was. Oh man, I didn't even know. Oh Jesus. And that pterodactyl is difficult. Teen Wolf Michael J. Fox, exactly. I, I don't know if this I don't know if this is a mega CD or or uh, it seemed to me based on the article it seemed to me that the, they he designed it for the Amiga.
Oh, you can't go through that thing. Stupid flower. That, that flower is a bummer. I, I, I don't know. I guess you go down first, right? Is that the right strat? That looks like it hurts. Oh crap, I didn't know like I could shoot through that. Yo, Zendar with the resub. Zendar, thank you so much. I mean, you can't be, that's hilarious. Zendar, thank you. I hope all is going well at Badger Punch Games, Roadcraft. I can't wait to play it. Happy Cakes, this game is it is really cool. It's a little bit hard to play. I shouldn't have died as the wolf, but I, I mean, but I did. So, I'm still learning here. I'm not an expert with this game by any stretch of the imagination. Look out, see, I see spikes there. I don't like the spikes. But the game is beautiful. See, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, this guy. Come on, I want to be the wolf again. Come on, Simon said he wants you to be the wolf as, as long as possible because it's the most fun. I need, I need some wolf. Yeah, Zendar is wolf child. I'm playing it because it was on the cover of a Mega Act magazine, the latest issue that I got. I know it's not the latest issue. I know Scal is the latest issue, but wolf child is the latest issue that I got. I only have one one health bar, man. It's not good. That stupid, stupid thing there. Stupid plant. Stupid plant. This game is cool, though. Yo, Dennis Mauritius Rossi, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. It's a pleasure to have you. I'm Amiga Bill. I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch almost every Sunday. We call it the Sunday Fun Day. Right now, we play new Amiga games. We play classic Amiga games like this one. This is Wolf Child from 1992. Uh, I love to have guests on my streams, but the fa my favorite part of the streams is hanging out with all the awesome people in chat. You all, you all rule. Thank you for the follow, Dennis. I really appreciate it. Did you enjoy story time? So those spikes can't hurt you from here, but if you fall on them, then they hurt. Oh, we got an ex oh extend extended health. Nice. It's a very difficult game. What am I supposed to do here? I probably have to get up there. Oh crap, stupid plants. That was like impossible. I should have just not fought the plant.
See, before I jumped, before I jumped into him, and when I jumped, he shot me up high. So I thought if I just came straight at him, he would, but it didn't work. Don't panic. Hit the top of the plan. Oh. Wolf Child and current PC graphics would be awesome. It would be, but you know what? These graphics are pretty rad. Oh, crap. Oh, see, don't panic. Wise words there. I, I can't, I missed that special though. Crap. It's a very difficult game. See, I can't freaking. I thought I could just walk through that. Man, it's tough. It's tough to beat guys with your fists who have guns. You know what I mean? It's tough. Just like in uh, The Untouchables. What kind of an idiot brings a knife to a gunfight? Like, what kind of wolf brings his fist to a gunfight? You know what I'm saying? Yo, Cooch and Fee zero zero, thank you, or Cooch and Fio, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, uh, Coochin and Dennis. I'm Amiga Bill. I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch almost every Sunday. We call it the Sunday Fun Day. I stream classic Amiga games like Wolf Child. I stream new Amiga games. We played like four new games today. There's like new games coming out every week. It's pretty crazy. I catch up on all the latest Amiga news. There's so much going on in the Amiga community. We gotta catch up on everything every week. And uh, my favorite part about the streams is hanging out with all the amazing people in chat. The Amiga community is the best. And y'all become my friends. I just love hanging out. Sunday fun day. Yo, Zendar, I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it. Just saying. Look at VHS cam. My new stickers. Annie Maddie with the resub. Annie Maddie is also a, a patron. I appreciate you, Annie Maddie. Thank you so much. Like I said before, if like all the patrons should be getting those stickers. If you don't, or if you just want a sticker, like please DM me your address, and I'll send them to you. I'll send one to you. A boom Sunday Fun Day. You know, if you love the Sunday Fun Day, you, you need to have a sticker. That's the bottom line. If you love the Sunday Fun Day, I want you to have a sticker. Captain, I'm also making Westchester Amiga user group stickers. I'm uh, remastering the WOG logo. Oh! That's for you, Jiro. You gotta do the arm movement. Open up your chest. Open up your hairy wolf chest. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hell yeah, Zendar. I want. I want. Oh, come on. Oh, I forgot I can shoot now. I, I, I'm so, I'm usually not the wolf. I'm finally the freaking wolf I can shoot. Play this game like it's meant to be played, you know? It is a much better game when you're the wolf. I love, I, you, the thing you shoot looks like a claw. Jiro, you saw it, right? Sunday Funday is more enjoyable than Monday Workday. Through that terminal. Yo, what's up, D Frizzell? Great to see you. Miju, Mijo, you like this game? Yeah, you have fond memories of it. I this now this wasn't a game that I played back in the day. All right, I need to time this out. All right, big in, big, big in. Not bad, I, I, I'm down one health. I have to look out for these barrels though. And don't panic about that fire on the ground. Why didn't they shoot? Damn, how many hits did this guy take? Finally. See, before I was really stressed about that goo on the ground. I thought it was like fire on the ground. It really sh and all those explosions were stressing me out, but they actually don't hurt you at all. I was too slow. Ah, oh, crap.
I should have just done the bomb from the beginning. I should have... <sighs> Miju, I'm not sure, Miju, if it, if it was on a, 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 a disc. I'm stupid. I should have done the bomb from the beginning. See, now I learned. I Now I learned, folks. I don't know what the down arrow does. Oh, you can't duck below those? Come on. See, I wish I was the wolf right now. Just punch that sucker in the face. Quantic, I'm so glad. Quantic and Terminal, I'm so glad that um, you guys enjoyed the fun day with this DJ Pace. Um, should I be afraid to look at this? Oh, I, I wrote a review. What did I... I gave it a review. What did I say? I don't even remember. I don't even remember I gave it a review. What did I say? Uh, it had cool graphics and sound, that's for sure. But gameplay wasn't much for me anyway. I. That's not me. I think that... I don't think that's me. I think that might be an imposter, Amiga Bill. I think... Wheelbarrow simulator? That'd be hilarious. I said it. The the gameplay, I, I wish you could spend more time as the wolf. Like it, it's I spend not enough time as the wolf. I mean I guess it's because I stink at the game, <laughs> but it'd be nice, even if you're a stinker, if you could spend more time as the wolf. These stupid flowers, I hate them. Oh, I didn't get the power up? Come on. Come, see, that's some BS right there. I see a power, how do I get up there? I wanna get up there. Missed it. Yeah, what exactly? See, Oram is totally right. <laughs> exactly, Nerig. Um, it's Omega Bell, the Eva Bell. <laughs> DJ DTA PR, what is going on? We're playing a little Wolf Child. I actually, I like this game. I, look at those copper skies, and they're beautiful. I actually like this game, and like Oram said, once you get to learn it, it's better. Once I get to learn it, I'll be able to be the wolf longer. Like, look at this. Oh, wow. He almost hit me. Hold on. Boom. Woo. You see that? I timed it out well. I'm learning the game. Learning the game. Now this flower. There's nothing in there. It's just a it's just a killer flower and no reward. You get no reward, no reward for killer flower. It's a brother Bill from Greece. Okay, yes. Yeah, I don't think that was me. I don't remember. It, I mean, it could have been, but I don't think so. See, that that's gonna bite. Captain John Archer cheered 200 bits. Captain John Archer, thank you for the 200 bitties. I appreciate that. Ami Maddie, thanks for the sub. Check it out. So you see, you can't just jump over the stump. You gotta jump on top of the stump. Otherwise, you land in those spikes. Pro tip. Pro tip right there. Pro tip. Should I go down there? Oh, no, not the spikes. I'm not, forget it. I'm not even gonna go down there. It's, it's too scary. Stupid guy timed it out well.
<laughs> Sometime in the future, evil robot Bill is sent back to replace Amiga Bill on Lemon Amiga. Hilarious to me, Cammy. Hey, me, Cammy, you rule. I took it right in the face, guys. Oh no! And I, I wasted a bomb, too. Crap. Freaking jerk. There we go, baby. We got our wolf power up, Jiro. Watch, watch what I can do now. Woo! I love it. The game's so much better now. Don't forget, you gotta open up your chest. Arms back, chest open, become the wolf. Arms back, chest open, embrace the wolf. Cybernize, this is wolf child. It is. Look at that. It's so much better when you can shoot. So much better. Yo, Retro, Retro Mega Lawrence, what is going on? Cyber9, this one came out in 1992. It was on the cover of Amiga Addict uh, very recently. Uh, the current issue that I have, but it's, it's from 1992. Stupid plan. Holy crap, that's scary. Can I get up there? How do I get up there, guys? You're not, you're not into this tune, Tone? I guess I'm gonna have to, oh, oh, oh God, no, no. Stupid spikes got me. See, you have to learn the game. I didn't know the game and I paid the price. See, I think I need w one more power up and I can become the wolf child again. See, there's that, that empty nub there. But now I need two more. I think that's how it works. I don't know how to beat that guy. He's tough. I mean, I beat him, but... I, whoa, what's that? I got a shield? Shields, baby. I want to go get that thing up there, and now it, it's sticking me over here. No more shields. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna. Woo! Oh! Oh, we are rocking now. It took a hit. You guys like. You gotta howl. Be the wolf. Be the wolf. So much better as the wolf. I could just jump and shoot that guy. So much better as the wolf. Galahad needs to make a WHD load hack where he can just be the wolf the whole time, you know? It's cheating, but I don't care. Get on it, Galahad. Get, if anyone can do it, it's Galahad. That was very scary. I took way too many hits there. <laughs> He's got that dog in him. Crap!
What's wrong with my, my shot? My shot dies now. Oh, I got a, spe I got a special weapon. I see it down there. I need some more grenades. I'll cheat if I want to. You, oh, oh, crap! It's freaking thing! And now we're back to the stupid punch. I'm so excited to see Sammy as tomorrow. I can't wait. How'd you like the reverse? Come on, wolf it up. Oh! I was ready, I, oh yeah, I see this little nub sticking up, this little mushroom cap stuck sticking up from the ground. I was like, I don't know if it's worth it dealing with this guy. It was totally worth it, because now we're the wolf, baby. Now we're the wolf, child. Now we're the wolf, child. Oh, look out, I see, look at that, I see those thorns there. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, with the stupid spikes again. Don't do that to me. No. Stupid spikes. See, I, knew, I had a hunch they were coming. All right, so may there's spikes at the bottom of every, may there's spikes at the bottom of, of every elevator. I, ha, I want that, how do I get, Jiro, how do I get the grenade? Come on, wolf. Whoa. What the hell is that thing? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a lizard man. Boom. Did I kill him? One hit? Did I, what did we, no, I knew, I knew the lizard man takes more than one hit. Lizard man definitely takes more than one hit. Come on, lizard man. You think you're tough? Patience is key. Lizard man only shoots down, it looks like. Alex is asking if I can switch weapons. That's a really good question. I have no idea. I like this weapon, though. The other one was a little weird, but it, I think it, it might have been a little more powerful, but it was a little weird. Can, you, can I kill this guy? Is this lizard man killable? Does it bleed? If it bleeds, we can kill it. I'm getting the feeling you should be able to kill it. It, it looks like he takes hits. It looks like he bleeds. Right? It looks like I'm hitting him. Should I just be patient or should I just get aggressive here? Yeah, I, I, I hear you. Terminal. I hate it when they don't have hit points or energy. I know. Cause like, I don't know. Like, am I doing anything? I don't know. It looks like I'm hitting him. Tone, 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 you know what I'm thinking? I'm think. oh, boom! Woo! Woo! We slayed the lizard man. Yes. That was some BS. Look at this, this is creepy crawlers. Do you always go left?
I saw those droppings from the sky. And me and Cammy, I'm, I'm in the mood for some vegan chicken. I'm not gonna lie. Look at this. No! I knew, I knew that was coming. I knew, I knew it. I, I, I got hurt and I was like, I'm not gonna be the wolf much longer. Look at all these stupid insects. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Stupid wasp. Stupid ant. Creepy crawlers. I know, man. Oh, look at the stupid worms. No worries, Oram. I, I, you know, the stupid random stuff bothers me. Like, I'm just walking here. I'm, I guess you'd have to, like, get tiptoe like that. Oh, look at that thing. What? He iced me. Should I go right this time? I totally hit that stupid thing. May I go right? Oh, hit the, you know, good answer. You can't go right. Good answer. Oh wow, me Cammy, it sounds delicious. It looks, it sounds delicious. We get this, uh, this vegan chicken from Trader Joe's. It's so good. That looks scary, so I'm gonna jump over that. Stupid worms. Yes! Success. Okay, so the secret to this level is just inch by inch. Look at this mantis. Come on, mantis. Inch by inch. Alex, you like this tune? It's... I, I, you know, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't mind the other one, but this one's, come on. <sighs> no worries, Captain John. Good night, Amiga sons. Sleep well. Kick some butt tomorrow in school or whatever you're doing. Oh, you can punch those worms. I, 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 to be honest, I like this game. There's some, there's some weird stuff in it, but I like it. I need some energy badly. Focus on the locust. Yo, Fatter Agnes, what's going on? I'm good. We're playing a little wolf child. Hope you are well too. Inspired by the latest issue of Amiga Act magazine that I picked up, that I got in the mail. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. That thing's gonna wake up. Oh, that. I don't like those. Look at that, those claws. I'm gonna go this way. I don't like those claws at all. Oh no, we got more worms. Probably more worms falling from above. Maggots. They're maggots, Michael. You're eating maggots, Michael. The stupid maggots. They're maggots, Michael. Yeah, that's the trick with this level. Slow. Baby steps. Oh, I didn't know it did that. It can, it can reach over and bite you in the face. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Oh man, I'm all the way back here, tiptoeing. Stupid wasp. Maggots, you're eating maggots, Michael. Maybe I'll go down there. Take on this ant.
That's not going so well. Boom. Look out for the mag. Stupid guy reaches around. Yes, energy. Come on, the wolf. Come on, wolf. No wolf yet. Oh, I gotta go back now. What's that? Why am I not the wolf? Last life, exactly. Berlus Ber Ber Berluscani. I do like the game. It'll be better once I learn it. Maggots. They're maggots, Michael. You're eating maggots. I hate that stupid thing, though. Maybe it's gotta jump over it, because you can't punch it, it seems like. Jesus. That wasp is no joke. Now these guys are gonna respawn, watch. Told ya. This is a game that you really have to memorize. Did I take a hit there? Oh, no, shit. That game is difficult. The Mike Tyson of Peace. Oh, man. All right, what time is it? 5.35, it's perfect time for some populace. I was having fun with Wolf, Wolf Child. Thanks, Captain. Thanks, all around. Let me take a quick bio break. I got I got into a little bit of trouble because apparently my howls were very loud and I scared the cats <laughs> and <laughs> wife device told me that there's uh, an eclipse a full moon and a full moon tonight isn't that ironic <laughs> she's like wait were you howling to the moon like a wolf I'm like yes I was playing wolf child she's like for the for the eclipse I mean, not the eclipse the full moon tonight I was like no I didn't know there was a full moon tonight I got a quick two hour popular session 
Oh man. Hold on. I need some Moscow mule. She hey I love what's up, Bobby? I scared I scared the cats. I was I was howling too loud. Jiro, Jiro, the cry of the wolf is too too It's a worm moon tonight. What, is that a, a really thing, Mr. PMB? Oh wait, is Mixels Labs here? What's up? Mixels, how's it going? No, yo, yo, Greg. I could go for some pizza right now. I was trying to ask wife device what she was cooking because it smells really good. But instead I got in trouble for how the howl. I got in trouble. I got in trouble for howling. Mr. PMB says the worm moon, named by Native American tribes in reference to the beetle larva and the other creatures that emerge from hibernation in the spring, will be visible to everyone across the world since the moon will appear to be full for a couple of days. Whoa. Mr. PMB. Hey, babe. It's a worm moon. Are you there? It's a worm moon tonight. Yeah, it's a worm. It's called it's a special moon tonight called the worm moon. Yeah, the eclipse is coming. But it's a special one, the worm moon. Oh, uh, howling like a wolf. Isn't that ironic? I'm sorry to scare the cats. All right. Let's play God. <laughs> Let's play God. <laughs> I scared my cats. Sorry, guys. They're, they're scared of the wolf. <sighs> I would give... So, fake Amiga Bill. Hold on. Desktop. Fake Amiga Bill. Fake Amiga Bill gave Wolf Child the 6 out of 10. I would definitely go 7 out of 10, at least. <laughs> What's up, Neil, for sure? Great to see you. <laughs> Tone Rebellion. What's the world come to? A man can't howl in his own house. Wife device should be lucky you're such a beast. <laughs> Tone, I love it. I love it, Tone. Oh, man. The, uh, good, good. So, yeah, so this fake Amiga Bill, I don't think that's me. Gave it 6 out of 10. I definitely go at least 7 out of 10 for Wolf Child. Because, you know, 10 out of 10 is like a Turrican 2. You know, 10 out of 10 is like a... Uh, uh, Lion heart, lion heart, you know, wolf child, seven out of 10. I think, or it could be, it could be 7.5. Oh, look at that. They gave it a 7.5 on lemon. It could be a 7.5. That's a good one. You know, Turrican two, 10 out of 10, bottom line. All right. What score was Cyberpunk's two? Let's take a look. Cyberpunk's two. Seven and a half. Perfect. That's a good score. That's a good score. Um uh, Populous. So we're gonna go to Lemon. What well, look, we're already here. We'll go to the community. We're gonna go to uh Super League. Now, I, I don't even know. I don't even understand the rules for Populous. I just want to play the game. Listen to this. It's about getting a, the least special rules. Select level 0, Genesis, or level 16, Batacon. Leave all our options at default. We're playing for the least score. Combining the scores from both levels. If you don't trigger Armageddon, minus 50,000 points, but remove battles. Total score is 50,000. Battles won minus battles lost. If you trigger Armageddon, then your total is also your final score. If you gave up or lost the game, add 200,000 and take away your score. So total minus 200,000. Total equals 200,000 minus score. 500,000 will be added to any level left unplayed. 
score under 20,000 total in both games combined to get the completion star. I don't know. Uh, Alex is asking, is Lemon Amiga the main site for Amiga stuff? I, I, for Amiga games, it's the, for me, it's the best for Amiga games. Like, if you want to know about an Amiga game, whether it's a new one or an old one, I go to, I go to Lemon. It's, they have the, the best database. Uh, English Amiga Board's got a great, yeah, you know, like, uh, forum. People talk a lot. <laughs> uh, they do they have a good forum here, too, on Lemon. But, uh, Lemon's got, like, the best database of games, in my opinion. Neil, let's try it. Hold on. Let's read it again. Select level zero, which is Genesis, or level sixteen, which is Baticon. Now I'll never get to level sixteen. That's crazy. But I guess you can skip to it if you type Baticon. Leave all their options at default. We're playing for the least score, combining the scores from both levels. So you have to play Genesis and Baticon and combine your score. If you do not trigger Armageddon, minus fifty thousand, but remove battles. I don't know how you. Re I don't know what removing battles means. I thought you always battled in Populous. Total score equals total equals score minus fifty thousand battles won minus battles lost. If you trigger Armageddon, then your total is also your final score. <laughs> if you gave up or lost the game, add two hundred thousand and take away your score. Total equals two hundred thousand minus score. Five hundred thousand will be added to any level left unplayed. Score un under twenty thousand in total, both games combined to get the completion star. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't do the Armageddon. I, I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Let's just play the game. Let's just play the game. I just want to play the game. You know, that's the whole point. It's just to play the game. I, oh, Ram, I, my brain hurts right now. Math. I, you know, I don't know. There's so much calculating to do. I don't know. I just want to play the game. Uh, I should also bring up the manual. I should have the manual ready to go. Uh, but you know what? I, I kind of know how to play. I kind of know how to play. I'm gonna start the tutorial. The tutorial is just like the easy level. Oh, the, the easy level uh, it crashes. If you, the thing is with this populous uh, WHD load, if you see, if you watch the opening, which isn't much of anything, then the, the game freezes. I know, Neil. Neil, you have a great point. Populous is complex enough without more complexity. Exactly. Oh, the heartbeats are on for sure, baby. All right, let's. Here we go. I think in tutorial, it's see in tutorial it starts pause, which is great. So I don't know how many of you have played Populous before, uh, but this is Populous. This is the world up here. You play God, and you control uh, the 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 blue team, and there's the red team, and this is the the game map. This is the world map up here. Uh, this is your mana. So see, because I'm in practice, it's already up at nights. These are. All, all different mana that you can do, uh, but, but you can like move your uh, your Ankh. You can make earthquake, flood, make a night, make a volcano, flood the land, and I guess I guess the skull and crossbones Armageddon. Um, and that's how you. That, so that shows you like, what you're capable of doing. This is just showing you your mana, and then this is how you execute it down here. Um, this is how you control your arm your army. That will make them rally to the flag. I'm not sure what that one does. <laughs> this one makes them rally to the Ankh, and this one makes them uh, settle and attack, then settle. Uh, this is your Ankh. You can drop that sucker. Uh, that is battle Ankh. That's make the that's fo oh, follow follow the the knight. Follow the knight. Attack and up and down is how you you have to level the land. So once you level the land to make it flat, you can uh, start building community and forts and houses. You just saw a report. Atari is back. Atari's been doing some cool stuff. It works okay on Amiga Live with the intro. Not on this WHD load version. Or maybe it's just my 1200. So over here, we can look around. There's my guys. Uh, this... Uh, this takes you to the knight. There's no knight there. So this, I think, takes you to the Ankh. Yep, there it is. That's my leader. He's carrying that Ankh there. No, the, the leader carries that little, the mini Ankh. Um, the enemy leader is down here. I think there's a way you can just click on show me the enemy leader. I don't know. I, f 
or got had it showed that there he is he's got the skull see him he's got the skull <laughs> all you can think of is the swimming pool the giant textbook next to it hilarious okay so what we want to do is go to our Ankh. show me our leader there he is and we're gonna start like leveling out the land and leveling up our characters so we can unpause it and we're gonna start see I'm, I'm leveling the land and they're gonna start building houses that's my leader there And the flatter the land, the more crops you can plant and stuff like that. Okay, let's move around here a little bit. Keep flattening the land. Oh, Logan's Run. I used to love Logan's Run. Logan's Run was a movie. Or what, did it have a TV show version as well? I know I'm going to destroy the house, but it's for the, the greater good. See? I flattened land. Now he can have a better house. Let me pause. I forgot what I'm supposed to do next. Yo, Pints and Amiga, thank you for giving out a community sub to C64 Television. Thank you, Pints and Amiga. You rule. We're playing a little populist. I'm just trying to get uh, my feet wet here. I'm trying to remember how to play it. Uh, let's go back to... I have the... I have the manual right here. Where is it? Populous manual. Uh-huh. Okay, the, okay. The. So look, here's the manual. Um, left click on the zoom to leader icon. Okay, this displays your leader on the close up map. We did that. He's the one carrying the Ankh, since you're good. Your leader is vital to the control of your people, since he's the central figure of your population. Your leader must be inside a building. Oh, your leader might be inside a building, which will have the Ankh attached to it. Then you can look at the leader of the evil population. We did that. You can uh, find him by selecting the question mark. And your cursor becomes a shield. Position the shield on the evil leader and click. Okay, when you do this, you can tag him with the shield. Got it. Once he's tagged the shield, you can see his strength. Uh, to check on the enemy leader's power, look at the information shield at the top right corner. The little right quadrant of the information shield. Two colored bars. Okay. Uh, go back to your leader. But, yo, uh, J... Three, Ru Ro. Thank you for the follow, J3. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. I'm Amiga Bill. I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch almost every Sunday. We call it the Sunday Fun Day. I stream new Amiga games. We played like four new games today, including this awesome one uh, by Rob Smith. It's an Easter game that happens on a bowling ball. It's amazing. Uh, now we're playing Populous. It's a classic Amiga game. We just played Wolf Child, which I really loved. And, uh,. Yeah, now we're playing a little popular. So I also catch up on all the latest Amiga news. Believe it or not, there is so much going on in the Amiga community. There's news like every week. It's awesome. Um, but I'm trying to remember how to play Populous. Okay, so go back to your leader. Zoom leader. Now it's... Okay, boom. Pause. Boom. Okay, now we're doing some landscaping. Click on the raise and lower land icon. Turns your cursor into a hand pointer. We can raise and lower the land. Uh, click on the zoom shield icon. See what the evil people are doing. Like you, they're building as much as they can. Okay, yeah, let's let's start messing some stuff up. We can click on the, the pap, place papal magnet icon. And we can place the crosshair in their territory. Okay, let's go. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. I'm going to move this over here. Okay, here we go. 
Uh, let's click shield. I may have to unpause it. Where is that leader? We saw him before. There he is. Sh let's shield him. Hey, get back here. Oh, he's at the question mark, right? And then we can put the shield on him. There he is. Oh, he's pretty weak. Now he's resting in his house. Okay, cool. Now we can see what he's doing. Now he's got the shield. Okay, let's uh, place our Papal Magnet icon. Let's place it here. Boom. All right. So we're coming right after the leader. I love it. And now we click go to the Papal Magnet. So we're going to send our guys there. Let's go back to our leader. Where's my leader? There he is. There he is. There he is. When he gets halfway there, click the settle icon. Okay. Where'd he go? Let's, I want him to settle. We can have him start settling here. They're going to make a settlement. We get, you know, we can start making a settlement here. I like that idea. Boom. Okay. We're going to start. Whoops. There we go. There we go. Our dude's fighting. Why can't I? We're, oh, our leader just killed. Their leader just killed one of my guys. Let's do a knight. I need to knight my leader. Where's my leader? Is my leader dead? There. No, let's make him a knight. Come on. I want to make him a knight. I don't know why I can't turn. He turned into a knight before. I think I'm. I think I'm not playing well. Oh yeah, yeah. They're messing. They're messing me up, guys. <laughs> oh crap! Sorry, guys. I'm gonna start the game. I'm gonna start over anyway. Take two. Take two. Uh, how do I quit? Try again. Okay, Populous. Yo, Enduro Sniper, that's too kind of you. How how long was that? Uh... Stupid me. I was too busy reading the manual. All right, here we go. Okay, here we are. Okay. Take two, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Let's go find our leader. So this will take us to our leader. There he is. Okay, very, okay, very, very good. He's carrying the Ankh. Let's find the, the evil leader. So to find the evil leader, we, we click on the question mark.
Ah, okay, I see. We have, first, we have to find him. He's down here somewhere. There he is. Once you find him, click on the question mark, and we're going to mark him. We're marking you, leader. There, we marked him. And then this is the information shield. Now, can you guys see Can you guys see the game? I hope I'm doing this right. Because I'm not looking at my Discord. Okay, good. You can see the game. Okay. Boom. Okay, so we tagged him. Information shield. Now we go to the zoom to my leader icon. Okay, zoom go to my leader is uh, this one. No, this one. There he is, there's my leader. Now we need to start um, doing the landscape. So we start flattening out the land. And our guys can start building houses. Tutorial is just, I think, an easier version of like World One. So, did you guys see none of that game when I was explaining everything? I was showing the mana bar up there. I was showing you the, the, the books, the world book, and the, the world, the screen with the world in it. You heard the dink dinks. There, there was some fighting going on. I keep leveling out this territory. So we get, let's get a nice base going here. A nice settlement. Remember, I was playing Dune 2. Dune 2 was a lot of fun. It kind of reminds me of Dune 2 a little bit. See, the flatter your land, the the better houses. I know you sometimes you have to destroy a house to build the land, but it's okay. Make it nice and flat. I believe Populous was one of the first, or if not the first, God game. We're, we're God right now, or we're changing the earth. Oh, now, now we got a castle. Nice. Just fill in. I'm going to fill in all this area, flatten this out, and then we'll start attacking the bad guys. Look, he's coming there. Let's flatten this out. In order to to manipulate, sometimes I can't talk. In order to manipulate the land, you have to have a character in the shot. See, I'm doing a good job here. We just built a castle. I'm gonna pause it now and let's see okay so boom okay we did that we did the land okay um, okay great we're gonna place our papal magnet in the enemy territory click on the shield to see what the evil people are doing 
uh, click on the papal magnet, you should see an onk with a small. Okay, yeah, papal magnet, boom. Papal magnet down. That's the papal magnet. And place that. Okay, so let's go see what they're doing. There he is. Let's drop our papal magnet here. Wait, is it the wrong one? Maybe it's this one. No. Oh, there it is. My bad. It's that one. I'm gonna drop our papal magnet here. Boom. Okay. Now this is the, the go to papal magnet. Okay, good. That's already clicked. So our guys are gonna start coming here. Let's go see our leader. He's on his way to that papal magnet. We're gonna wanna settle. We're gonna wanna create a settlement when he gets halfway there, apparently. Oh, I, I can build some land for him. I'm gonna build some land for him so he can get there. Let's build a settlement here. They're gonna start to settle here. Oh, they're fighting already. They're fighting my leader. We're gonna make a little settlement here. We're gonna start. We're gonna make a little community here. There, look at our guys. Look at they're fighting. They're fighting. I think it's time to make our leader a knight. This will make him a knight. Why is not a knight? I have enough mana up here. See. I don't understand why I can't make him a knight. I was making him a knight before. Yeah, I need to do more land here. Look, there's a red house in the middle of my village. Can, oh, let's turn him into a knight. Get in your house. I don't understand. I can't make you into a knight. Why can't I make him into a knight? This is means I can make him a knight if it's that far. Pause. Let me catch up on the chat. Populous was the first God game, 1989 by Peter Moynou. Uh, right after I got my first Amiga 500, Populous was the first box game you were given. No way. To me, it's Yo, Alex, 8543. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that, Alex. Welcome to the stream. I think you already know by now, but I'm Amiga Bill, and I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch. Almost every Sunday, we call it the Sunday Fun Day. I love to play new Amiga games, classic Amiga games, but I love hanging out with everyone in chat the most. That's the best part. Um, Alex, thanks for thank you. Yo, Moonbeam Twitch, what's going on, Moonbeam Twitch? Well, I don't understand why I can't make them the knights. This is the look. Oh wait, this is the knight button here. Make them. I'm hitting the wrong one. I'm hitting the wrong one. What's up, futurist? I'm still trying to learn it. Yo. <laughs> No problem. No problem, Alex. Thank you for uh, the follow. I appreciate it. I've never played the Promised Land, Red Eye. Now I know. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's go. Let's unpause. This is show me what's this is uh, show me my leader. There he is. Now I'm gonna make him into a knight. Watch this. Yeah, he's a knight now. Now he's just gonna kick all kinds of butt. I'm gonna help my guys out. Look at him, look at him. Come on, guys. Let's wreck these houses. Look at my knight, he's just gonna start, he should be, he should start like burning their houses down and stuff. There's their leader, that wimp. Smoke him out, smoke him out. Go get him. Go get him. Go.
Go get him, knight. My knight is kicking butt. Go get him. But look at this, he's burning it down. Look at him, it, go burn, I, he's gonna take that house right there and burn it down. Yes. Yes. Burn it to the ground. I'm gonna make another knight. Now I got two knights, baby. We're gonna wipe these suckers out. Look, see, look, there's uh, some rogue colony down there. Let's start flattening this land out. So our guys can build. Look at our knights just kicking butt. Like a knight in shining armor from a long time ago. <laughs> Woo! Wreck that guy's house. That's ruined your day. I want to cause an earthquake soon. Where, where's... Now look at we're burning these guys to the ground. Let's go down here. Oh, we could have over here. We're, we're just burning them up. We smoke them out. Watch this. Let's earthquake them. Boom! You're dead. Bang! You're dead, you little punks. Here comes my knight. Now my knight. We just gave him the earthquake. Now my knight's gonna go rough him up. I love it. Let's make another knight. Yeah, he's gonna go. Smoke these guys out of their house and then burn it to the ground. That's the way I like it, Mr. Knight. Yes. 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 See, he just smoked them out. He beat him up and burned his house to the ground. Here goes again. I love this guy. I love this guy. He's just kicking all kinds of butt. Let's make another knight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's the Knights of Amiga Bill. You're about to get burned to the ground, baby. Woo! Oh, I have to wait until my mana gets up there to get to make the volcano. You have to look at the, the mana. But, but I think I, I need to settle, right? I think I need to make another settlement. Let's put him in settle. I'm gonna put him in attack and settle mode. Like, why not? I can make another knight. Let's go to the knight. Oh, my knights. My knights are just pillaging. I love it. I love it. See, you can only build when you have characters like on the screen. Look at these burned out freaking buildings. I love it, guys. Keep up the good work, man. Now, I have no idea how the scoring works in this game. This is still technically a practice level. Boom. Game one. Okay, not bad. Let's try Let's try a new game. Let's try a, a, a game for real. And then uh, we'll call the stream. I, I may need to do... Oh, it's 6-12 already? Crap. Let's see. If I go new game... No, I, I don't want to... No. I want to do... Uh, Knights going around looting and pillaging isn't villagers exactly. Break out your modem and play two players. I know. Did you see that? The telephone. Thanks, 3D Code Warrior. You can play this on uh, Amiga Live too. Conquest. Genesis. Yep. So we have to leave. Uh, World to Conquer is Genesis. Battle. Battle number zero. World landscape is grassy plains. Right, because they have grassy plains. They got like lava fields and all kinds of stuff. His reactions are slow. His rating is very poor. Land built on people. The swamps are bottomless. Water is fatal. He can't do any earthquakes, swamps, nights. Fuck. All right, cool. I like it. I like the odds are in my favor. <laughs> the odds are. Where are we here? Right, let's pause for a second. There's my guy. So the first thing we did is we went down here, right, and then we tagged this leader. Let's tag him. I may have to unpause the game and tag him. I don't know. 
Why can't I tag him? Why why can't I tag him? Oh, you have to do question mark to tag him, right? My bad. There we go. We tagged him. Okay, pause. Let's go back to our leader, which is go to leader is this. Yep, there he is. And now we're going to do some excavating. Start making a little population. It's populous. We'll start making a little population. Yeah, there he's good. He's built he built a house. Nice. I guess that's the general vibe. But you gotta build up like your, your home base, and then uh, when the guys are in their house, they get stronger. When they touch the leader, they get stronger. There we go. They get, and they, they start growing corn and stuff too. Once they got enough space, start growing corn. The one thing I do remember about this game that there's a lot of a lot of uh, land building. <laughs> It's a lot. It's a lot of right click, left click, land building, a lot of flattening the, of the land. That's hilarious, Greg. I'm just building up some like a nice home base here, and then we're gonna go attack that dude. See, now our mana is all the way down at the bottom. Now all we can do is build. We can't even move. That that's why the practice like let you skip ahead. Soon I'll be able to put the Ankh in enemy territory. As soon as my mana builds up. Sometimes building is tricky. It's a weird system. It's wherever that, that black... Uh, cross is, is where you'll build or deconstruct build or flatten uh, our onk is ready I'll use it soon. I need some guys in sight. There we go. They're called walkers, actually. Which is kind of funny. Oh, good. We can we can create earthquakes now. I'm building Florida. <laughs> Greg, that's hilarious. Oh, Greg, I can't wait to hang, man. I can't wait to hang in person. What do you guys prefer? Like strategy games like to watch on the stream or games like, you know, like strategy like this or like shoot 'em ups? Because I usually do shoot 'em ups. It's, I don't usually do populist type of games, but I, I kind of like kind of like this one. He's got, his army is looking stronger than mine. I don't know why 
I think I'm doing a pretty good job here. Building a nice solid foundation. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to drop my onk in the in the enemy territory soon. Let me just flatten this area out. I don't know how, I'm gonna have to like build uh, I guess a path for them to go across the water. I don't know if they can swim. Florida man builds his own state and he's at 11. Maze Orban said, but I'm, am I the only one to put land next to the castle to make the citizens go out? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I, it's a, I'm still like trying to remember how to play this game. It could be a good strategy. Pirate Slasher and Moonbeam Twitch. Thank you guys for the follows so much. I appreciate it. Moonbeam Twitch and Pirate Slasher, thank you for the follows. I appreciate you guys folks very much. Uh, I'm Amiga Bill. I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch almost every Sunday. We call it the Sunday Fun Day. I'm just winding things down now. Uh, we're playing a little Populous. It's a classic Amiga game. I like to play classic Amiga games and new Amiga games. I, I focus more on the new Amiga games, but I do classics too. But when I do classics, it's usually like a shoot 'em up. I don't usually do strategy games like this, but this is a the Lemon Amiga and English Amiga board. They have a, a challenge. They have a game competition. So I like to use it as a baseline to find some new games to play or some dust off some old ones like Populous. I knew how to play this game a little bit better, obviously back back in the day, but I was never a big Populous guy. I did get I did well, I was into it a bit back then, but not a super amount. I was more of a shoot 'em up kind of guy. Still am. Some things never change. But this this is pretty fun. I I just I gotta drop that onk and start going to the enemy territory. But I, I just want to build up a nice corner here. Build my art like, like up here in the north. I just want to make sure we're really strong up here in the north. Uh, I'd start getting quickly around by clicking on the map to get to the places that need flattening. Oh, see, there's all these strategies. I just, I just don't know. So I'm making it nice and flat here. Build on the first level is greedy if the opponent raises the water. Oh, very interesting. Well, you see, I'm lucky because I don't think he can do that yet because it's just the first level. That makes sense. If So if he raises the water, he can wipe all my guys out. Okay, good strategy. I appreciate that. Thank you. So I'm building it way too low. I, I need to build up higher on mountains if I was good at the game. Makes That makes a lot of sense. His army is definitely looking like way better than mine now. Better to flatten where there's existing buildings to allow those to expand. Oh, interesting. Thank you for the help. I appreciate that. So this thing should just, this should expand soon. Right? I feel like this should become a castle. Yep, there it is. Okay, got it. Nice. 
I'll expand a little here and then it's time to start kicking some butt. I want to fight. What I'll do is I'll play this one battle and then uh, we'll call it a stream. Yo, Berluski, uh, Ber Berlaskani, thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. It was great to meet you. I, I think I'm, I might meet you tonight, but if not, it's, thanks for coming back and uh, appreciate it very much. So now there's already buildings here, so let's use the strategy. Build, flatten near the buildings. There we go. Your strategy was doing the night and then following them. Oh, okay. I gotta learn how to play the game. Lots of good strategies. I probably should have started building the land, right? He said near the buildings that already existed. And building up higher makes a lot of sense. Especially when uh, the enemy can start flooding things. It makes a lot of sense. But look at all this flat land I have. I, I, isn't that good? It's hypnotic to watch this. It, it's very relaxing because with the heartbeat in my, in my headphones, it's very relaxing. Gotta have a good mouse. Gotta have a good mouse for this game. I, I, I my lag. I'm, I'm lagging because I have the uh, my, my Rish and my A500 wireless tank mouse is not the best combination. Unleash the army. It's about that time, Oram. I'm just trying to build. I'm just trying to make a nice, strong, thick army. I see they're all, they've almost built to me. I'm gonna start making some knights. Let's see, I'm just gonna do this right here. Let this become a castle and then we'll be good. There it is, okay. Let's go find, question mark. Where's the enemy? There he is. Let's put our Ankh there, right? Drop the Ankh. Drop it like it's hot. How do I drop the Ankh? Wait, drop the onk. Here it is. This is. I keep messing up. Drop the onk. I'm dropping it. Wait, that where it is? No, oh, he's here. No, I want. I want them to penetrate deeper, right? I want them to get like here at least. Drop it here. We'll drop it there. We'll say go to onk. Uh, and let's make some knights. Let's go to our leader, which is this one. There he is. Let's start making some knights. I need, now I need a new leader. Pick it up, make another. Nice. Now this guy's gonna touch the Ankh, he'll become a leader, then I can make him a knight. New leader. Oh look, he's coming for us. Made a lot of knights. Yeah, let's go get their leaders. Let's build some land. Come on, knights. Can my knights take his leader? Oh, 
Oh no, my knight lost to the leader. I need to make some more leader, more more knights. When you merge citizens at one point, they get different weapons. Ah, oh. I know, weird Amy. I'm 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 in trouble. I I think I'm in trouble. The enemy's got a lot more dots. Can I, can I like go watch this? Can I go here? And then I, I'm gonna cause an earth, like a volcano. Yeah, let's do a volcano, like why not? Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go over here, let's volcano these guys. Well, I, I see flatland here, let's go volcano these guys. Yeah! Yes! I am God. <sighs> Earthquakes. Let's earthquake these guys. Get out of town. Get out of town. Woo. Armageddon. Once you got more peeps in Armageddon, it, but it, apparently that's not good for my uh, my score on the limit in the competition. I need more knights, right, Chris? Take me to the leader. I need more knights. There's some shenanigans going on here. Oh, could I drop the Ankh here? Oh, good. My knight's gonna go take this guy out. He's gonna, my knight's gonna fight his leader. Who won? I think his leader won. You know what I'm gonna do? Should I put... Should I drop my Ankh here? Have him come here. Let's have him come here. I'm just gonna volcano this place. I'm just gonna volcano you. All right, let's go to our leader. Make another knight. Neil, Neil, I, I, I love it. Go to my leader. Dig on their enemy leader foot. Since you have an ally flag next to him, where's the enemy? How do I get to the enemy leader? So where is he? There he is. But I just killed. I just destroyed my own buildings. Where's my leader? Oh, I have to send him to the Ankh, right? Send him to the Ankh, make him a leader, then he can become a knight. I don't totally understand. Good strategy in this game. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm getting my butt kicked. Yeah, I think I'm way overpowered, Oram. I agree. I think I'm way overpowered. The pulsing cube, oh yeah. Yo, press F1 to continue, because that's connected to the audio output on this Amiga. I'm totally outnumbered. I'm totally, I'm totally, let's see. Can I, can I just go over here and like start an earthquake or, you know, a flood? Let me go here and start a flood. It 
didn't do anything. I don't know how to play it properly. I can earthquake him. <laughs> yes. That's fun. Blood will be bad for me. Oh, because I, I built my uh oh because I built everything so so low. That's a good point. Dude, why is there dude, let's go I'm gonna drop my Alank here. Let's go freaking take this. Go get that guy. Go to the Ankh, dude. I need I need some knights. Oh, floods affect the whole world. Got it. His leader is just wiping wiping my guys up. See, all his guys are just beating me up bad. I don't know the right strats in this game. Mr. Hudson, you have a great question. What's the purpose of the heartbeat? I, I felt like the faster your heart beats, like the weaker you got, but I could be wrong about that. Because I haven't noticed a change. His land mass is larger than yours, way larger. It should be good if I build these buildings up, right? Make some castles. I used to know how to play this. I never really got into this game, but I, I obviously I used to know how to play it better than this. <laughs> Yo, Time Siphon. Thank you so much for the follow, Time Siphon. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. I'm Amiga Bill. We're playing a little Populous. It's a classic Amiga game. I also like to play uh, new Amiga games. Uh, today we played Wolf Child, another classic, and then we played a bunch of new Amiga games, including uh, an Easter-themed game that our friend Rob Smith made. Play bunnies on bowling balls. I love it. It was it was so fun. That honestly, that was my favorite game I played today. Wolf Child was good too, but uh, Rob's game's better. Good, I can make some more knights. Go to the Ankh, become a leader. Every fight reduces their strength anyway, but to win, you actually have to kill every one of his people. Yeah, it takes forever. Oh my god. We got a fight going here, my knight and his dude. Where's, how do I go to my Ankh? Make a knight. Uh. I guess if you choose Armageddon, then uh, let's go drop an Ankh here. Why can't I drop my onk there? Manga 99 UK, your brother used to play this game on Sega Mega Drive. Oh, very, very cool. This is, uh, loved watching him play it. I, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, Manga 99, 
I haven't played this game since I was like 14, which is in like 1990. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, so it's been, uh, or 89. So I don't even know. I totally forgot how to play it, to be honest. Jiro, no worries, Jiro. Great to see you as always, my man. I hope you enjoyed the wolf howls. We, we, uh, we turned into a wolf today, folks, many times. It was great. I scared my cats. It was awesome. And uh, there's a full moon tonight, so I'm totally psyched. We'll see. I, I can't stream that much. What time is it? Six, I, I gotta stop by 7, whether this game is still going or not. Oh! Oh, Jiro. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what you come up with. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, I see. I, see. Um, I, I don't know who gave me that suggestion before, but you want to build, flatten the land around your buildings. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for that tip. That makes it so I start building here. Maybe we can turn this into something here. There we go. Jiro, you rule. This guy wants to go up there. Oh, he's building a house there. Okay. I, I feel like okay, I'm getting stronger. I see my knight is kicking some butt up there. I'm looking at my, my status bar up there in the upper right corner. Oh, one way to do nine squares, two up, two down, uh, one up, you get nine squares with five clicks. Oh. See, Chris, Chris knows what's up. See, he, mar he, he put the, the evil enemy thing in my, uh, in my castle. I need to learn how to do that in his castle. You gotta go too. All right, Annie Maddie, take care, dude. I, I'm gonna stop the stream by seven o'clock, according to VHS Game. It's 6:42 right now. I feel like I need to, to do some. I need to watch something just to like fire me up a little bit, because this was this is a, this is a meditation. This game, in a good way, but oh look, here's here's their leader. Let's get this. Let's get this guy. Come on. Can I? Where's my? This guy's tough. Where's my Ankh? Let's go here. Let's go here. I don't understand. Oh, I'm not in the drop Ankh mode. That's what happened. This game is tough. I want, I, I'm in go to Ankh mode. I want to drop my Ankh there. I, I can, still can't drop it there. I don't understand why. There we go. I guess I have to be on flatter land. Oh, he dropped his on mine. Go to the Ankh. Come on.
Armageddon. I should just do Armageddon. Let's just do Armageddon. I think I'm there, right? Let's just do it. I don't, I don't care about the rules. I thought that was Armageddon. Come on, let's get him, boys. There we go. Fight that guy. Get him. Yeah, I guess Armageddon just... Game one. <laughs> Boom. I don't even know. I don't even know. How, wait, where's my phone? Thanks, Red Eye. I don't know how I won. Somehow I made a comeback. I was on the comeback trail and I won. Cool. All right, there's Populous. It's a, it's a fun game. It's a fun game. Let's see. Can I... Is there a demo I can play? Is there a demo I can play to get fired up here? Uh, just go out on a demo. You know what I mean? Thanks to me, Cammy. Thanks, Red Eye. Uh, Focus Designs always got good demos. Let's do the announce trail. I think this is a revision announce trail. Let's see if it works. And, you know, next week is revision. Guys, I don't know what time I'm going to stream next or when I'm going to stream next week. Uh, it's a little bit to be determined because uh, I got tons of stuff going on with work. And I'm traveling on Sunday next week. So there's a chance I could sneak in a quick stream before I go to, to my flight. But I'll probably end up streaming on Saturday. Yo, uh, Manga99UK, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, so I'm probably going to stream next Saturday and we'll watch some demos together. Yeah, exactly. I probably would have won 30 minutes ago via Armageddon, but it's, it's a hard slog to finish without it. I, Yeah, I hear you, Red Eye. Thank you, Peter. I appreciate it. Let's play this announce show. A little Hoffman. We'll watch this demo. I'll see if any of my friends are streaming, and then uh, I'll call it. I'm, I'm like an hour into overtime. Thanks, yo. Manga99UK, thank you for the 100 bits. I really appreciate that. Thanks, appreciate it. Sigaborn, you're the man. Can't wait to see you in person. Thanks, Gemini Knight. Thanks, Carlos. Appreciate it. Thanks, Peter. Aw, thank you. Thanks to Elrond, thanks Carlos, thanks DMACI 828 thanks Peter, thanks Zemish. Zemish was on the early crew. Thanks Chris, thanks Greg, 
Uh, I think we're going to raid Amiga Live. I don't see anyone else doing Amiga stuff right now. Uh, so you know what I love? I love Hot Dots. Let's watch Hot Dots. Uh, I love Hot Dots, and then we'll call the stream. Yeah, thanks, Amiga Candy. Thanks, DJ Bass. Thanks, Panzer Lord. Have a great week. Yeah, have a great week, everyone. Neil, for sure, you rule. What I miss? Zemish, Mr. Otter, Elrond, Chris Doe, Greg, Carlos Jackal, Neil, for sure, Amiga Cammy, Gemini, Panzor, DJ Bass, Carlos Jackal, Voxel Trots. Revision starts Friday. Capcom Turk, you're welcome. Brother Bill, you rule. Zemish. Oh yeah, Charlie Farr is playing some Amiga games. We could raid Charlie. We'll raid Charlie. But first the demo. Thanks, Tone. Cheers, Nitbrake. Thanks for chilling, dude. Get physical, Nitbrake. Let's get physical. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for hanging today. I'll see you next week, probably Saturday. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Uh, appreciate you all hanging out today. Thanks for the awesome Sunday fun day. Uh, we're taken to the hot tub and we'll raid Charlie Farr. Thanks all for hanging out. Amiga love to you all. Ja Wolf, peace out. Gemini Knight, Greg of Florida, y'all rule. Carlos Jackal, it is hot tub time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great week. Voxel, my main man. Gemini Knight, Arcade Ages. Oh, yeah, with the Amiga Love. Dot com. Thank you.